Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Investor Expo show for 2nd of April. My name is Anna, and I'll be your host today. We're having a great lineup of four speakers for you. Jeff Tompkins, Brian McAboy, Thomas Barman, and Dr. Barry Burns. This session will be recorded and sent to your email. I would like to begin and bring to the show our first guest, Jeff Tompkins. Tompkins. Good morning, Jeff. Thank you. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about um, a particular indicator that I use in my own personal trading as well as in my uh, hedge fund that I run, which I'll talk a little bit about, um, to predict uh, market momentum and market trends. So and we're going to be focusing particularly on the uh, current market crash caused by the COVID-19 virus. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how some of the tools that I use actually predicted the major market sell-off that we're currently in the midst of. So I've got a lot to cover. Um, I think I have about 45 minutes, so I'm just going to jump right into it so I make sure that we get uh, through everything. Um, throw up a quick disclaimer. We will be going through some um, both hypothetical and uh, live trade examples. So keep in mind that anything that we do discuss on our session today should not be construed as individual investment advice. <clears throat> so let's start off by talking about why the market is so difficult to trade. And certainly now uh, in the extreme volatility environment that we're in, it's particularly difficult. And really a lot of it can be boiled down to math. So I want you guys to Imagine a deck of playing cards. We're all familiar with a deck of playing cards. Uh, there's 52 cards in a deck. And believe it or not, there are more ways to arrange those 52 cards than there are total atoms on the planet Earth. If you, assuming you shuffle them properly, um, there's a really good chance, very strong chance that they're gonna come out in an arrangement that's never existed before. And that's with only 52 possible um, basically samples um, and so that number actually comes out to a 69 digit long number so it's astronomically big so if you put this in the context of the markets you can only imagine the number of possible combinations in the equities market or the options market or whatever futures market whatever market you trade so predict, predicting any sort of outcome with any degree of accuracy can be extremely difficult. And it's actually one of the major factors that causes many systems and strategies to fail over the long term. They Basically, most of these systems and strategies revolve around a set of very specific rules in an environment that's extremely dynamic, rapidly changing, and as I mentioned, has an astronomically large number of possible combinations. However, there is a method that overcomes this drawback to the markets and it works regardless of how the cards are dealt. And this is what I'm gonna show you guys today. And what you'll discover is how to use one indicator to predict markets in any time frame, the correct way to use the indicator to make money in the markets, exactly when to buy and when to sell, how to identify when momentum is shifting and a new trend is starting, how to eliminate the majority of your losing trades, how to use this with any markets, stocks, futures, forex, options with consistency. We'll go through some trade examples and then I'll show you how you guys can copy my success and get my trade signals I use to make a living in the markets. So I want you guys to imagine if you could have predicted every major market sell-off in the history of the market. That's a pretty bold statement, right? Well, in, in fact, the one indicator that we're gonna focus on today predicted the recent COVID-19 market crash um, about a a day before it, it, it happened. Um, it also predicted all four corrections in 2018. If you guys were trading a couple years ago, we had uh, four major market corrections that particular year. It predicted the flash crash of 2015 an entire day before it happened. It predicted the crash in July of 2011, several days before the bears began driving prices down. It also predicted the major sell-off in 2008 when the market lost more than half of its value. If you guys were trading over a decade ago before we went into this um, unprecedented bull run that we've been in, um, that was a very steep sell-off. And again, the market lost more than half of its value. And this indicator actually gave us the warning um, of that sell-off. So let's take a look at some examples 
of market corrections and how and then we'll 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 get into the indicator and how it predicted these um, so this is a daily chart of the s p 500 uh, ticker spx and it encompasses all of 2018 and i chose 2018 because that was the years i mentioned that we had uh, four major market corrections so this is a good case study to look at and the first one took place towards the end of January into February. We had topped out around 2,900 on the S&P, and this was a major uh, sell-off in, uh, in mean reversion into the 200-day moving average. And shortly after that, we went into kind of some choppy, ranging um, sideways channel price action until we see another correction, topping out around 2,800 this time on the S&P, and another mean reversion to the 200-day moving average in March. Then we go into that nice, steady, well-defined uptrend in the middle part of the year until October hits and we see another major sell-off, this time selling off below the 200-day moving average and bottoming around 2,600 on the S&P. We went into some similar, actually almost identical ranging sideways price action there that we saw earlier in the year until December hits and we have a major um, sell-off. This actually almost put us in the bear market territory uh, peak to trough sell-off was just a little under 20% in December. So topping out around 2,800 on the S&P, selling off down uh, below 2,400. Um, and so this was a, a, another difficult period in the market to trade, regardless of, of what market you trade, options, equities, futures, Forex, or what system you trade. So I'm going to show you guys how to navigate these types of situations with a lot more confidence and a high degree of accuracy. And before I do that, I want to give you a little background on myself. If you have not attended one of my presentations or uh, classes in the past, um, I do have 20 years of experience trading the stocks, options, and futures markets. I do trade professionally, um, both for myself and for my hedge fund. I did receive professional training at Morgan Stanley. And about five years ago, I founded um, a, an educational company to help other aspiring traders become successful. Uh, we currently have over 25,000 members in over 100 countries ac across the globe that we've helped become more consistently profitable traders. And recently I launched my hedge fund, Altos Capital. I'm also the founder and creator of the Trade Trend Signal software, which I'll be talking to you guys a little bit about today. So by the end of our session, here's what you'll discover. You're, you're going to find out how you can use one special indicator that is available for free in any trading platform to predict market moves. And the beautiful thing is it works for stocks, options, futures, and forex, and it works in any time frame. So this is a really versatile tool that anybody on the, the presentation today will be able to use by the end of our session. And once you learn the correct way to use it, you're not going to look at the markets or trading the same way again. And I say that because I've certainly... Um, it's, it's made a huge difference in my trading, my consistency, and my long-term results, and I'm confident it can do the same for you guys. So you're going to discover why momentum is so vital to trading success, how to read momentum shifts and continuations, and this will completely turn your trading around, how to use momentum as a leading indicator and not a lagging indicator, how momentum can predict market moves, how to get your hands on a tool that will change your trading forever. You guys are really going to be excited about that. So I want you guys to imagine a bowling ball, and it may seem a little strange to have a bowling ball on a trading presentation, but it is applicable to trading, and here's why. If you bowl, uh, roll a bowling ball down a bowling alley, we can all predict whether we bowl or not at some point in the past in our lives. We can predict what's going to happen to the ball. It's going to roll down the lane um, until something stops it, whether it uh, goes into the gutter or you hit the pins and get a strike. Something has got to stop the ball. Something's got to put the ball in motion first, and then something's got to um, stop it. And this is what's referred to as linear momentum. So momentum in physics is basically just the property or tendency of a moving object to continue moving. Um, and we can. this is important because we can apply it to the markets. Um, it's just like a, a chart of a stock or um, a futures contract or a Forex pair. It, it's basically um, a linear uh, movement uh, on a chart. The only difference is the catalyst. So um, the catalyst in the markets, of course, is supply and demand or buying and selling pressure, but the principle is the same. And once a trend or movement um, or momentum is set in place, it's generally gonna continue to go in that direction 
until there's a catalyst that stops it and turns it around. Okay, so I want to want you to keep this analogy in mind as we discuss our uh, indicator today. So let's talk about why momentum is so important in trading. Well, first we need to understand what momentum is at its most fundamental level. It's basically calculated by taking price differences for a fixed time period compared to current price levels. So a momentum value above zero indicates that prices are moving up and below zero indicates that prices are moving down. So this means that we can actually pinpoint areas where trend reversals are highly likely to occur. And it can actually give us leading information versus lagging information. And this is really the um, what I want you to understand behind the bowling ball analogy is that we're actually predicting future momentum versus um, basically, you know, basically just looking at past lagging data. And although we'll focus on market crashes predominantly in our session today, um, I want you to know that it doesn't only work for crashes. You can also use this same information for market rallies. Um, you can make money when the market goes up as well using what I'm going to show you guys today. Because basically momentum works in both directions. It measures the rate of both rise and fall in a securities price. <clears throat> and it can really do an incredibly accurate job at pinpointing turning points as well as continuations within a trend for stocks, futures, Forex, whatever market you trade. Um, and this is an example of that in the center of the screen. It, it's a daily chart of the, uh, I believe this is the SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. And you can see that there was a significant sell up there on the left side of the chart and then a shift in momentum after a reversion to the 200 day moving average. And this is actually where this indicator that we're gonna be talking about here in just a minute, um, identified the momentum shift. And you can see the ensuing uptrend that occurred after the indicator identified the shift in momentum. Okay, so it's pretty cool. It works in both directions. So let's look at some examples of momentum indicators. There are, I would venture to say, roughly a couple dozen momentum indicators available on today's retail trading platform. So let's look at a few of the more common ones. Um, the first is the average directional movement index. Many of you have probably heard of this. It can be used to help measure the overall strength of a trend. It's often referred to as the ADX. And what it does is it basically measures expanding price range values, and it takes an average of that. Um, the next one is the commodity channel index. This is often referred to as the CCI, and it's basically a momentum oscillator, and it measures the relation between price and normal deviations from a moving average. And the third one is the MACD. This one reveals changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend in a securities price. So it's quite a versatile momentum indicator. And last but not least is the relative strength index. So this one I'm sure many of you have heard of. Uh, as the RSI, and basically it's used to chart the current and historical momentum strength or weakness of a security based on a closing price. The standard period, uh, default period that most platforms use is 14. Um, and this is often used as an overbought or oversold indicator. And that's an important point with all of these momentum indicators is that they can be used and interpreted in many different ways. And ultimately what it comes down to is how you interpret the data and apply it in a live market environment um, within a strategy or a specific market or time frame. Uh, and that's where things can become challenging. And we'll talk about how to overcome some of those challenges here. So let's focus on one of these particular indicators on this list that does an, a remarkable job at pinpointing shifts in momentum. And then we'll look at how we can use it to predict future momentum. And that's the moving average convergence, convergence divergence or the MACD. Okay, so many of you I'm sure have heard of this. It is a momentum indicator and it's been around for a long time. It was developed back in the 70s by Gerald Appel. And the, the beautiful thing about this particular indicator, um, it's, it is widely used and it stood the test of time, but on a fundamental level, it is the most predictive in nature of the momentum indicators. And it gives us good information on strength, direction, momentum, and duration of trend in a securities price. And there's one particular way that does a nice job at predicting market momentum or trends, and that's the MACD cross. So basically with a cross, a buy signal is generated when the MACD line crosses 
above the signal line, and a cell signal is generated when the MACD line crosses below the signal line. So let's put that in context on a chart. This is the same chart we looked at earlier, a daily chart of the S&P 500 back in 2018. And this time I've got the MACD plotted at the bottom of the screen. And we're gonna take a look at these crosses. Um, and just the FYI, where these crosses occur relative to the zero line, the magnitude of the cross, the slope of the lines, those are all significant factors that we won't have time to get into today, but just know that um, they are relevant but we're simply gonna look at where these crosses occurred relative to the sell-off. And you can see this first one gave us a really nice warning of the January, February sell-off back in 2018. And then the next one in March, this one occurred also above the zero line. Um, it wasn't quite as significant as the January, February sell-off, but still significant. You can see there are a lot of crosses on this chart, obviously. We're just looking at the warning that this MACD cross gave us before the sell-off occurred. This third one in October was a little less difficult, uh, less obvious, a little more difficult to read. Um, the lines were more horizontal and closer together, um, but it did give us about a week's warning before that October sell-off. And then lastly, the cross in December, this one occurred below the zero line, the slope of the lines were steep, and this was a major sell-off here in December, okay? So the MACD cross gave us good warning on all four of these corrections that we saw back in 2018. The problem is the cross can be a little bit difficult to read as you saw in that October sell-off. Um, and when you're looking at the lines um, on, a, on a previous time period on a chart, it can be pretty obvious where they occurred. But when you're trying to read these in a live market environment, it can become more tricky um, to see when the cross is actually occurring. Um, and you can certainly see in the center here that it can be, become very difficult to determine the cross when the lines are converging close together and horizontal. So there's an easier way to read the MACD and use it to interpret future price momentum and trend, and that's with the histogram. So this is also available on most retail trading platforms. And basically the histogram gives us the same information as the, the lines, but it does so in a much easier to read and interpret format. And basically when you get a green to a red uh, histogram, that uh, indicates a sell signal and a green or a red to a green histogram indicates a buy signal. So let's take a look at that on a chart and see how much easier this is to interpret than the MACD cross using the lines. So this is a daily chart of the stock Momo. And you can see on the left side of the chart, we had a red to green histogram. And as soon as the histogram turns green, it gives us a buy signal. And you can see we have this nice steady uptrend with positive momentum until Right there near the middle of the chart, we have a temporary retracement over the course of a couple days. The histogram goes from red to green, telling us that this might be a good opportunity to lock in some profits um, and potentially sell shares of the stock. A few days later, the histogram goes back from red to green, giving us another buy signal, telling us that it's likely that the momentum will continue to go up and it's now safe to get back into the stock and then we go into that nice uptrend again. Before another sell signal occurs, we get a red histogram there, and we sell off for a few days until we get another buy signal. The histogram goes from red to green, and the uptrend continues. So you can see the incredible accuracy and predictive nature of the MACD and how much easier it is to use the histogram versus the lines. And I'll give you guys another trick here to use um, in combination with this indicator to help weed out some of the false signals and improve the accuracy of the indicator. And that's to use buy stop and sell stop orders to confirm momentum direction. So basically when you get a green histogram or a buy signal, you would use a buy stop order, which basically gets you in just above the candle on that, uh, on that buy signal to enter a long trade. And then conversely, you would use a sell stop order to enter short trades. And again, this helps filter out false signals and improve consistency and increase profitability of the MACD. So this is just a little trick that I use in my own personal trading that really um, improves the consistency. So 
hope that you guys can see the value behind the MACD indicator and its predictive nature. Um, but here's the thing, momentum indicators, while they can be very valuable, um, they need to be used correctly. And certainly if momentum indicators were easy to use and worked every time, we'd all be successful traders. And that's simply not the case. But what I've done is I've spent more than 10 years and thousands of hours trying to figure out which ones to use, when to use them, and how to use them effectively. And once I got the settings dialed in, I had to formulate them to work on all time frames and duplicate the success across all markets in an adaptable algorithmic formula that is predictive qualities and it's not lagging. So that's a big undertaking, a big challenge. And again, the problem with momentum indicators alone is not that they're necessarily giving you bad information, um, but they can be hard to read and they can give you false readings from time to time. And they can even stop working when you need them the most. And that's the problem is that if you try to form fit a momentum indicator into your strategy or system, they can eventually fail, fail you if they're not adapting to market conditions. So what I've done is I've developed a highly effective market adaptive algorithm using a unique combination of momentum indicators and proprietary settings. And I've programmed it into a unique um, formula that adapts to market environments and I've combined it with volatility studies and price action setups and when you see how this works in just a minute you can actually do a lot better than the MACD by itself and you can predict a lot of these trends and momentum shifts before the MACD signal and I program this into an algorithm called trade trend and basically trade trend gives you buy and sell signals on any stock any ETF, futures, Forex, options, you can use it for any market in any time frame. And it gets you in before the MACD signal using a proprietary blend of momentum indicators. And it predicts short-term and long-term trends with astounding accuracy. And again, it works with any market, any time frame. You can use it to back test to see results before you place trades. You can use it to supercharge your option strategies if you're trading um, directional strategies like calls and puts or vertical debit spreads or credit spreads, and you can trade like a pro without any guesswork. And guys, I use this tool in my own trading to make a living in the markets as well as in my hedge fund. In fact, I'm gonna show you some of my live real money accounts because although I don't do this often, I do believe in backing up um, what I'm teaching with real money results and not just back tested hypothetical results. So these are actual live results from my TD Ameritrade brokerage account using the Trade Trend Signal software. And you can see the profits that I've made simply trading off a daily chart, one contract per uh, position on all of these examples. And they're not all gonna be winning trades. I've got some losers in there, but the winning trades outnumber the losing trades and allow me to make really good profits using Trade Trend. So let's look at another chart. This is of the S&P 500 ETF, the SPY. It's a daily chart. And let's put this into context for you options traders out there. So if you're an options trader, um, I want to show you and put, put in dollar terms what trade trend can do versus the MACD signal. So I don't have it plotted on the bottom of the chart here, but the MACD did give us a green histogram or a buy signal uh, right here, kind of in the middle of this uptrend. Um, and tra our trade trend members actually were able to get in on the trade trend signal um, about a week before the MACD signal. So if you're an options trader, to put this in dollar terms for you, if you had bought 10 at the money call contracts on the MACD signal and gotten out where the histogram shifted from green to red, you would have made about $335 before commissions and fees on those 10 call contracts on the MACD signal. So that's not too shabby. But our trade trend members getting in a week earlier and capturing more of that trend and buying 10 at the money call contracts would have been able to profit nearly $5,000 on, uh, on that same uptrend and getting out in this exact same spot. So that's the difference that trade trend can make versus the MACD signal. Let's look at some more examples. This is a chart of Micron. Now the beauty of Trade Trend, remember I told you it's adaptive, it's an adaptive algorithm, uh, algorithm and it predicts future trends and it actually gives you up to three candles advanced warning before the move occurs. So back in December, Trade Trend gave a buy signal on Micron, you can see by the green arrow there, and it told us the exact price to get in, which would have been just above the high of that uh, warning candle 
and that triggered three days later as the market moved up past the high of the candle triggered our buy stop order and got us out um, just a little uh, about a few weeks later so if you had traded a thousand shares on this one signal alone it was a six dollar per share gain you would have made about six thousand dollars just on this one signal in just about three weeks so pretty incredible what it can do in terms of predicting uh, momentum and market trends and that was one example but what I did here is I actually selected five consecutive trades that trade trend identified on that same stock on micron and I, I chose a difficult time period because a lot of people ask well how does it do um, when markets are very volatile or when um, there's a sell-off we're in the midst of a, a sell-off so I selected if you remember that chart we looked at of the S&P 500 I selected um, that time period back in 2018 from October to December when we had two major market corrections and I selected five consecutive trades and we had one little loser in there but if you had taken every trade and traded a thousand shares on the stock it was a profit of over thirteen thousand dollars on the buy and sell signals and if you're an options trader and you just bought puts and calls on those same signals you could put up a lot less cash and profited nearly seven thousand dollars on those same five consecutive signals so it does very well and again it adapts to market conditions and it, you can use it um, with any market so if you're an options trader a stock trader a futures trader a forex trader it works in any market um, whether you're an intraday trader or a long-term investor or a swing trader um, it works in any time frame and if you have got a small account a large account um, it works with any size account it's adaptable and it gives buy and sell signals with up to three candles of advanced warning that's the key so most signal softwares give you the signal right when you need to get in Trade trend gives you the signal before the move occurs, and that's key. You actually have up to three candles of advanced warning before the move occurs. And it's predicted every market crash in the history of the market with 100% accuracy. That's accuracy. That's pretty incredible. And when you have access to trade trend, you can actually go back because the signals never disappear off the chart. You can go back and verify that for yourself. You can look at every market crash in the history of the market and you'll see that trade trend gave a sell signal before the crash occurred okay there's not a lot of signal softwares out there that can make that claim so this is an example of the recent COVID-19 market crash we're in the midst of this one right now back on February 20th a little over a month ago trade trend flashed the sell warning there it is right there on February 20th it gave us the red arrow and incredibly this sell signal came the day after we hit an all-time high in the market so it literally almost picked the top very top of the market before we crashed over 30 percent all right and it actually gave us a nice little buy signal there on a on the little uh, rebound there as well um, made some money on that uh, small rebound so um, it really does an incredible job predicting market crashes and here's some more examples if you're trading back uh, about a decade ago May 6 2010 we had a flash crash there was the sell warning up around uh, 2040 and boom there's the sell-off it actually gave us advanced warning before the sell-off occurred and the market bottomed out around 1760 um, the more recent flash crash in August 2015 there's the sell warning remember it gives us the advanced warning the trigger was the next day right before the sell-off if you were trading back in 2008 this was a major one this was the um, re the major recession that we were in due to the mortgage crisis the housing crisis um, trade trend was flashing sell signal warnings all over the place and it gave us a warning before the market lost 50% of its value in fact it gave us three sell signals on the way down and then it gave us a buy signal as the market rebounded this is the dot combo well now we're going back uh, 20 plus years ago to 99 to 2001 there's the sell warning right at the top and there's the sell-off of the dot com bubble again gave us a number of sell warnings on the way down as well so virtually every system is going to produce winning trades the problem is they don't keep you out of the market when conditions are not favorable and you end up giving back your profits on the losing trades that's not the case with trade trend 99% of signal softwares operate on static algorithms but trade trend 
is one of the only adaptive signal softwares available today. And that's why it works so consistently and it works for the long term. And you can go back and verify that on your charts and see how well it does at predicting market crashes as well as uptrends. And here's more proof. These are again live screenshots of my real money TD Ameritrade account using the Trade Trends signal software in the futures market, only trading one contract per position on the daily chart. And this is what's possible using Trade Trend over $8,000 profit in a day, over $6,500 profit in a day over $6,000 profit in a single day and over $5,400 profit in a single day. Okay, this is what's possible. So here's my promise to you guys. I wanna help you guys have days just like these and I'm gonna give you access to a tool that lets you copy my trades. These are trades that I use in my own live trading account as well as in my hedge fund. And this is a one-time opportunity to join me to discover how I make consistent income in the markets day after day, week after week. You guys probably have a lot of questions. I'm gonna to get to questions here in just a minute, but I wanna tell you what I'm gonna reveal. I'm gonna show you guys every one of my special techniques and indicators that make profits like this possible with absolutely nothing held back. I teach you guys everything you need. You get six months of my trade trend signals for stocks, futures, and Forex. It gives you exact entry and exit signals with up to three candles of advanced warning. We also hold live trade sessions using the trade trend signal software. So we show you, I show you guys how I use it in my own live trading account. If you're not able to attend the live sessions, no problem. We do have a members area where you can access all the replays and recorded training sessions. And if you decide to try out Trade Trend today, you're gonna get immediate access to all of the um, previous recordings. You get full support and personal coaching for me, trade adjustments to fix losing trades. So we have a whole section of education on how to use trade adjustments to fix losing options trades. Um, I also give you guys a list of my most profitable tickers to trade. And what this signal software does is it allows you to cut the learning curve and trade like a pro starting tomorrow. So the learning curve in trading, as many of you I'm sure know, is very steep. Um, it certainly took me well over a decade to finally become consistently profitable. So our goal is to help you cut the learning curve by receiving very simple to read buy and sell signals with any market. And here's my guarantee. If you don't make money in the first 90 days, this is how confident I am in the power behind Trade Trend. I'm going to give you guys $1,000 to spend on any of our highly acclaimed online trading courses and trade alert services. And full disclosure, we've never had somebody take us up on this offer because so many of our members are successful with the Trade Trend signals. In fact, here's what some of them say. Jay Thomas has very impressive results. Well done. Thanks for helping us little guys with small accounts who dream of growing our accounts over time and reaping the benefits of consistent monthly income. And Frank says, how refreshing to have someone produce a product that does what it says. I thought it was too good to be true at first, but you've proven me wrong. Thanks and keep up the good work. Brian says, last year at one point I was down around $42,000. In fact, Brian just sent me this email uh, last weekend. Um, I was really happy to see this because Brian's one of our longtime students. And he said, but now I'm happy to report that I've recouped all of those losses and now I'm net positive over $47,000 on trade trend trades, all in the futures market. The system has generated almost $90,000 of profits in the past 90 days. The system itself would have generated even higher returns if not for mistakes on my part. I'm very thankful to the good Lord for leading me to you and your system. And Alan says, I've been involved with lots of software testing. In fact, Alan was one of our early beta, beta testers of Trade Trend. And he says, Trade Trend seems to do exactly as it says, and so far I could find some nice setups. And lastly, Craig says, my first trade paid for the entire package. Nothing ever works for me this fast. I wish I had found you guys last year before the big market dips. So these are just a handful of some of our uh, hundreds of testimonials from our Trade Trend members that use Trade Trend to get in before the MACD signal with our proprietary blended momentum indicators that predict long and short term trends with astounding accuracy. And again, regardless of what market you guys trade, you can use Trade Trend to help predict trends and give you buy and sell signals on any time frame. You can use it to back test, you can use it to supercharge your option strategies and trade like a pro without any guesswork involved. So I'm gonna tell you guys here in just a little bit how you can get access to Trade Trend. Um, and if you decide to try it out today, um, we're gonna throw in a couple of bonuses for you. Uh, one of those bonuses is our professional trading series. This is taught by myself. It's over 10 hours of online content that you'll get immediate access to and you can watch at your leisure at your own pace. 
It teaches all of our best stock futures and option strategies, as well as how to make adjustments to losing options trades. That's bonus number one. Bonus number two is our ebook that I've just finished um, up recently. And it's a really cool strategy that I again use in my own live uh, trading accounts as well as in my hedge fund, how to create risk-free trades and let your profits run with little or no risk. This is a really cool technique, um, again, that I, I personally use and I think you guys will really find a lot of value in regardless of what market or strategy you trade. So really two valuable bonuses here that we're gonna throw in if you tr decide to try out trade trend. So here's the trade trend signal package and everything that you'll get with it. You get six months of trade trend signals on TradingView. So this is a really cool web-based platform. You can use it on the go. Um, they actually have a really great mobile app um, or you can use it on your desktop or laptop, wherever you are. There's no need to download anything. Um, you get full web-based access anywhere you have an internet or cell phone connection. You can access your charts with the buy and sell signals. And this is over an $800 value. You also get access to our live trade sessions for life and that's a $550 value. We hold live trade sessions every single month, and that includes personal coaching. I'm the one that holds the live trade sessions and helps coach you through the trade trend signals, as well as many of the strategies that we use to trade the signals. That's a $1997 uh, value. You also get exclusive invitation-only Facebook group access to our members group. That's $199 value. You get the trade adjustments to fix losing trades. We, we have many modules of adjustments and techniques that we use to fix losing options trades. Um, and when you see how these techniques work, it can really turn your options trading around, whether you're trading directional calls and puts, vertical spreads, uh, credit spreads, iron condors, butterflies. Um, we teach a lot of cool adjustment techniques. That's over a $900 value. And ultimately what you're gonna learn is to trade any market, stocks, futures, Forex, or options with consistency, and that's truly priceless. But if you were to buy everything by itself, including the two bonuses that we're gonna throw in the professional trading series and how to create risk-free trades ebook, that's a total value of over $5,000 in this package. Um, and we put this uh, package together and bundled it up at a really special deal at over 90% off. So we're not gonna ask for anywhere over 5,000. We've actually priced it at only $497. Again, that's 90% off. We want you guys to really be able to navigate these difficult times during this extreme, these extreme market conditions with success. Um, so we've made it affordable for you to do that. So if you want to take advantage of this special offer and try out TradeTrend and see the incredible accuracy of the signals, all you have to do is go to TradeTrendLive.com and you can join us immediately and you get access to everything that you see here on the screen. So I want to go ahead and open it up to uh, questions here. If there are any questions, feel free to uh, type those into the chat box, the Q&A box. Um, if I'm, I'm kind of run, bumping up against time here and I wanna give everybody, uh, all the other presenters a chance to have their full allotted time. So if I don't get to your question, um, you can always email us at support at altostrading.com and uh, either myself or one of our team members will get back to you um, in a timely manner. So go ahead and type any questions that you guys have in the Q&A box. And remember, it only takes one winning trade to pay for your lifetime membership to my Trade Trend Mastermind group. And being prepared for the next market correction really is priceless. Okay, so all you have to do is go to tradetrendlive.com. Anna may put that into the, um, into the chat box. Um, so uh, let me uh, get over here to the Q&A box. Okay, so we have a lot of questions coming in. Let me see if I can just expand this Q&A here. All right. Okay, so um, let's see, we got somebody asking, does it work with ETFs? Um, yeah, it does absolutely work with ETFs. Um, you can again, use it for anything that produces a price chart. It will give you um, the buy and sell signals with up to three candles of advanced warning um and it also gives you the exit so it gives you the trailing stop so once a trade is entered um yeah it does it does um give you the stop uh order as well as to help you manage the trade as the trade plays out um 
Okay, good question. When you're talking about three candles advanced warning, are they daily candles? Um, it's actually regardless of time frame. So if you're trading off a daily chart, it would give you up to three days of advanced warning. Let's say you're trading off an intraday 15 minute chart, it's gonna give you up to 45 minutes of advanced warning. Um, if you're trading off an hourly chart, up to three hours, so on and so forth. Um, okay. Uh, what does it cost after six months? So the six month uh, subscription, normally we do an annual subscription to Trade Trend um, because we realize that, you know, there's, there's a lot of uncertainty right now in the market. Some people just wanna try it out for a shorter period. That's the reason we put together the six month package. So it's the 497 um, for six months. You get, you continue to get the live trade sessions for life. Um, as well as the other bonuses, the members area access and everything. If you wanna continue with the trade signals um, beyond the six month and, and continue your subscription, it's just 497 um, every six months. And so you're locked in at that special price, your grandfathered in, you would never uh, pay any more than that for the trade trend signals. Um, let's see, Harry's asking, can you choose what stocks to watch? Yep, absolutely. You can set up watch lists. You can use it on any stock. Um, you can set up alerts to alert you when there's a buy sig sell signal. Um, let's see, which time frame should be used? Um, again, you can use it with any time frame. So whether you're an intraday trader, um, it works all the way down to tick charts, or if you're a, more of a swing tra uh, trader or a longer term investor, you, we have many members who use it on daily, weekly, and even monthly charts. Um, let's see. Yeah, so after the six months, the um, subscription would renew um to uh, continue to receive the trade trend signals um let's see frederick's asking is trading view a charting software yeah trading view is simply a online uh, web-based charting platform um it's free to join um, they do have uh, premium memberships for um you know special markets like if you're trading like real time real time real time data for futures and things but um it's free to sign up for trading view to access their own web-based charts and our trade trend signal software integrates right into that very nicely. All right. Um, um, somebody's asking, can we use it on the Australian market? Yeah, we have members that use trade trend um, on uh, international markets. Absolutely. Um, is trade trend standalone software does it need a charting platform um it's not a standalone you don't need to download it or anything it just integrates right into the trading view platform um let's see someone's asking are there any other indicators needed along with it yeah the beautiful thing is you don't need any other thing anything else with it and there are no settings to adjust everything is perfectly optimized for immediate use so you don't need to adjust any settings whatsoever Uh, I'm, see, I'm getting questions about um, Trade Trend on other platforms. Um, yeah, we do actually have Trade Trend on um, other platforms like Ninja Trader, TradeStation, uh, Thinkorswim. Um, every platform is a little different in terms of the packages that we offer, simply because, um, for instance, Thinkorswim, we only sell a lifetime license of Trade Trend because of the um, fact that we can't manage any subscriptions through that platform. Um, we actually have to sell you the um, the full uh, uh, files for for life. Um, so everyone's a little different, but our offer today is for the web-based version of Trade Trend. Um, <clears throat> okay. Looks like I'm about out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Again, if you guys have any other questions, you can email us at support at altostrading.com. And if you'd like to take advantage of the offer today, simply go to tradetrendlive.com and give us a little bit of time to get you set up. Um, we do need to go in and um, manually uh, license everybody as well as send you guys the professional trading series bonus and our bonus ebook, How to Create Risk-Free Trades. Um, but we'll get you all set up today and you'll be on your way and you can start using Trade Trend to improve the consistency and profitability of your trading st current trading strategies. So with that, I want to thank you guys for listening today. Wish you guys all the best of luck. And welcome to everybody who's joining. I see a lot of people are, are joining already. So thanks for joining. Look forward to working with you guys and stay healthy. All right. Um, well, it's going to rock and roll. Welcome, everybody, uh, to Trading System Mastery, how to be a fearless trader no matter what's going on in the markets. 
So this is brought to you by Brian McAvoy of Inside Out Trading. That's me. Uh, and I'm glad you're here. I really am because you're about to discover what a lot of people in the trading space don't want you to know. Seriously, you're about to discover how to trade fearlessly no matter what's going on in the markets, the factors that have prevented you from becoming a fearless trader, the huge mistake nearly everyone makes that is the root cause of nearly all your struggles, how that mistake keeps everyone looking in the wrong places for the solution, and what you need to do to correct that mistake, make the shift, and be empowered as a fearless trader for the rest of your life. Now, since we're talking about trading, I do uh, need to include this disclaimer. As you know, trading involves substantial financial risk. This presentation is for education purposes only and is not intended to induce anyone to initiate any investment or trade. Your trading results are entirely your responsibility. Now, uh, do stick around to the end. I have a gift for you. In addition to what you'll learn, uh, I've got, uh, uh, it's called the Trading Plan Financial What If Analyzer. And uh, it really, it's cool because it'll give you clarity and confidence by seeing what works and what's you know going to work best for you. Um, and it's really, it's just a really cool tool. You'll like it. And um, uh, bear with me just a second. I'm switching open the questions and chat boxes so that I can see them as, as I'm going here. Um, okay. Um, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Get rolling with it here. Um, now, today we're talking about you becoming a fearless trader, someone that does not struggle to make consistent profits, someone that easily sticks to their system and executes very well every day, somebody that isn't concerned about the uncertainty of the markets. You go to the markets every day confident and relaxed, very comfortable knowing that you're going to, I mean, you're not going to win every trade, but at the end of the month, um, you know, you're making money and you're doing just fine. And when the markets do panic like they have lately, Rather than get worried, you know, like everyone else, wondering what to do, you're excited because you know that lots of emotion in the markets can mean lots of profits for you. So you simply go to your portfolio of trading systems, your playbook, so to speak, and grab a system or two that you know does well in these conditions, and you have a whole lot of fun making a whole lot of money. I mean, after all, this is one of the reasons that you chose trading. Because, you know, as traders, as a trader, you can make money in any economic environment, unlike most other businesses. No matter what's going on in the news, your financial well-being is good to go. You're safe and sound. Now, this is life as a fearless trader. And really, I mean, this is what you signed up for when you decided to become a trader in the first place, right? To have these advantages, I mean, to, to enjoy financial security and a good lifestyle, the freedom to spend your time doing what you want, and the independence and autonomy to live your life as you choose, really not answering to anybody. Unfortunately, chances are that's not what you're experiencing right now with your trading. And, and don't feel bad. It's true for most traders. As an individual self-directed trader, you have some significant challenges to deal with. Of course, you have the inherent uncertainty of the markets, which makes life interesting for everyone. But even when they're not acting crazy, the markets are a dynamic environment. The charts change and are different every day, which makes the whole consistent part a challenge. But even more dangerous than the uncertainty of the markets is ignorance. Now, I'm not calling anyone stupid, and we're talking about ignorance where it's you know, a, a, a not knowing a certain thing or you know, a, a body of knowledge. And the thing is, trading is a skill-based occupation, and one, yes, in which you can definitely lose money, sometimes in a hurry. Ignorance is the enemy in trading, because what you don't know can and will hurt you sooner or later. Here's kind of what I'm talking about, just a little graphical rep representation here. Um, and if, I mean, as far as trading, it, like I said, it is skill-based. It's not just anybody can come along here, you know, a, a kid in a crib can push buttons and make money. You know, those commercials were cute and everything, but it's not that simple. There are certain skills and understandings that go into being a successful, a fearless, fully self-sufficient, and truly independent trader. There, there is a required level of skills and understanding for that. And, and unfortunately, there's an apparent level for success that really gets a whole lot of people. You know, it's just like, you know, you know how to open an account, how to start placing trades, you know, grab this signal service or this system or whatever. And they get busy tra placing trades and they think that all they need is a thing and they can get busy. And that's the apparent level of success. And then you've got this zone here. I call it the enough to be dangerous zone where most traders are. So most traders will jump in. And they learn, you know, the apparent level of success. I'm like, all right, you know, I got my account open up. I forget my platform, how to place trades. And, you know, I got a, got a method to use. And they, they kind of float around in this, uh, this range here for a long time, several years, because they don't realize, you know, there is a certain level they need to get to. And they're, here they're taking their beating, kind of figuring out things the hard way. And this enough to be dangerous, the really, really risky zone. 
But once you're actually fully, you know, skilled up and you have all the skills and understanding to be a, you know, truly self-sufficient and independent trader, that's when you can be fearless. And so, so long as people are floating around in this, this zone here, actually what most people are doing in this, in this time here in this zone is when everybody's just looking for a good system. They're on the quest. You know, all I need is a good system. We're going to come back to this. We'll come back to this chart here in a little bit. But I wanted to bring this up because really this is this is a truth for a lot of traders. They're spending a whole lot of time in this range, not realizing they need to be focusing on getting to this level. And when you get to this level, everything gets easy at that point. OK, so, um, I mean, you know, on top of that, you, you have these brokers that, of course, they don't care if you're you know truly ready to put your hard earned money at risk before you start live trading. Uh, they just make sure that you sign off that, you know, you're trading with money you can lose to cover their butts. Then you've also got all the scammers and pure marketers that, you know, never have a place to trade in their lives. Plus every time they can harry with a just crack the code, you know, we, we figured it all out trading system that they want to sell you for three to five grand. I mean, everybody's pitching their stuff, making sure to use the magic buzzwords, you know, consistent profits. But unfortunately, most are unable to deliver, at least for any length of time. So, you know, what happens is after months and often years of putting in the hours, making the sacrifices, trying system after system and paying our dues, we're left with our confidence circling the drain, questioning ourselves. You know, we're beginning to wonder if we're ever going to make it, thinking that, you know, hey, you know, maybe there's something wrong with me. And I mean, that, that's just plain not right. I mean, it really sucks to be a generally successful person, as most traders are, and unable to be such a simple looking endeavor. I mean, in most things we do, we're pretty fearless. You know, we do what we do without fear and we do reasonably well. Because most traders are good people, you know, sincere in what they're doing, they're hardworking people. I mean, it, this is why I do what I do. I want to see the good people that have chosen trading actually make it and avoid all the heartache and anguish that are so often the story because I know what it's like. My first year of trading was rough. Uh, like a lot of people, you know, I looked at trading, thought to myself, yeah, I get it. And I jumped in and I got busy. Now, I had the misfortune of starting off making money, which only inflated my, my, my false confidence. And it didn't seem to matter if my account was going up or down. I was just on this huge emotional ride. And the thing is, once I started the downward spiral and was destroying my account, that was like nothing I had ever experienced before in my life. And it didn't, you know, it, it, it didn't even take me a full year to blow up my first account. And when I did, it cost me over $47,000. So needless to say, I took a break from trading. Now, fortunately for me, prior to trading, I'd been the quality assurance manager in a $100 million manufacturing operation. We made plastic beverage bottles for companies like Pepsi, Gatorade, Coke, and a bunch of others. It was a high speed, high volume operation. We had razor thin margins and some pretty tough customers. We did not have any choice about running well and running consistently. If we shut down a customer over a quality issue, we could get billed up to $35,000 an hour, literally. We had to run well, and being the quality manager, it was my job to ensure that we got good, consistent production. That meant consistent running of the machines and consistent performance from all our people, and I'm good at it. Our plant was ranked number one for both quality and profits across the nation. So I stepped back from my trading, and I assessed, you know, hey, what went wrong? When I first started trading, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I, I really viewed the whole thing like an opportunity seeker. Well, I mean, so it's no wonder that I got crushed. But then I thought, okay, so what's the biggest thing in trading? What comes up in nearly every conversation about trading? Of course, it's consistency. And I'm like, well, duh, quality is all about consistency and getting what you're doing dialed in. So I took the method I'd used as quality manager to make the plant successful, and I applied it to my trading. And I was able to come back to trading and make it work very well. But when I came back, it was no emotional ride. It was no struggle. It just ran. And I got to have the experience of trading without fear or anxiety or stress. I mean, it ran so well and so reliably that in 2005, I was able to quit my corporate job and live life on my terms ever since. Now I showed some of my friends the trading and what I discovered. And when they put my method to use, their psychological issues that they've been fighting, they just dropped away and their trading smoothed out as well. So in 2006, I decided to help the traders of the world and I created InsideOutTrading.com. When people come to me for help with their trading, I teach them the same thing and they get the same results, which is completely understandable. I mean, I didn't invent quality assurance. It's been around for decades and it's been proven to make businesses in every industry on the planet run well and maximize profits. But since I had experience both as a quality manager and a trader, I was able to customize the quality tools specific, specifically for trading. 
and it works amazingly well. Now, I'll explain the method I developed to you know, get everyone's trading working so well here in just a minute. But first, let me ask you a simple but very important question. I mean, you, you know how everybody's always looking for a good system? Okay, so why is that? Well, because system implies repeatability and predictability, right? You know, it's do this, do this, do this, make money. Or at least that's how it's supposed to work, right? Now, of course, you don't you know, expect to win every trade, but you do want it to be predictable enough that you know with a very high level of confidence that at the end of the month, you're making money. At least that's the promise of systems. And when what you actually, you know, when what you have actually is a good system, that's when your profits are virtually guaranteed and the uncertainty of the markets becomes a non-issue. At least that's how they're supposed to work. Now, there are trading systems being pimped and plugged all over the internet, everybody carrying on about massive returns, and of course, you know, consistent profits, everybody uses magic buzzwords. So if there are all these great systems out there, why are so many traders struggling to make money? Well, the truth is there are a lot of very clever sounding strategies, but a lot of lousy systems. And there's a big difference and sort of my quality background comes into play and, and will help you make a big, big shift here. I mean, you know, these systems, they might work for a week or two or even three, but then they start not working so well. And a lot of traders come to me with a whole hard drive full of junk systems that they've collected over the years. And they're still looking for a good system, you know, one that they can actually count on. The thing is, it's hard to feel fearless when you have no system or you have a system, but you have lingering doubts about it. And here's the big problem. Like I said, most systems out there are based on what sound like good strategies for getting in and out of the market profit profitably. But there's the big disconnect. Just because you have a clever strategy and you got some rules and indicators slapped on it, that does not equal a trading system that can be executed consistently over hundreds or thousands of trades over a period of time. This is the big mistake it's, that gets so many people off in a wreck, is assuming that a clever strategy automatically makes for a good system. It almost never works that way. I mean, here's, here's what nearly all traders do. I did it myself. You know, the buy system or a signal service or a newsletter or, you know, trips or trade of the day or whatever, assuming that, you know, what they bought is well designed for consistency. But then they get busy trading, trying to make money and things hardly, you know, they work out as initially planned, at least not, you know, for long. And it doesn't take very long until unexpected losses and disappointments begin to become a regular thing. So you start messing with your system you know, and they, they quickly realize, hey, this only makes things worse. So the attention finally comes around to focusing on, you know, trying to be consistent and sticking to their system usually in a form of blaming themselves and thinking that they, you know, just need to be more disciplined. Maybe this sounds familiar. Well, this method that I created is all about taking your system or any system and making it work the way it's supposed to. So, if, you know, if this sounds good, keep watching because I'm about to show you how this new method, you know, you can use this new method in your trading where the consistency is built in from the very beginning, where it's designed specifically to be very repeatable over hundreds or thousands of trades for the foreseeable future. Now, the thing is this works with any style or method of trading. Even if your method is discretionary, fundamental, trading the news, or even coin flip, or based on astrology. I mean, think of it like this. Your trading is your financial vehicle to get you from where you are now to where you want to be financially. And your trading system is the engine that powers your vehicle. Well, the method you're about to discover is how to take that engine out, overhaul it so that it actually runs, then tune it up and fit it with a turbocharger. Okay, so how can we do this? Well, remember, I'm a certified quality engineer. And quality assurance is, in its essence, the science of consistency. It really is. I mean, here's how it works. I call this the quality assurance model. And this is where a lot of people get an aha moment. Now, this is an overview, and this looks pretty straightforward. We'll get into the details of why this works. Step one, you define your system. And this is like the big make or break point that so many so many people screwed up at it. Like I said, most people, they just they, they find a clever strategy to slap some rules and indicators on it, and that's, that's what they call a system. Well, no, you, you'll, we're talking about doing it the right way, again, according to, you know, quality practices. The second step is we want to establish, you know, proof of concept. You know, does it work? And then we also get a baseline performance measurement. You know, how well does it work? And then the third step, we want to dial it in for maximum production, or in the you know, case of trading, profits. Now, with the quality assurance model, the thing is we establish consistency first. Then you start trading and build on your success. One of the great things about this is that the repeatable and predictable aspect, again, is built in from the very start. The whole do this, do this, do this, and have a predictable outcome, like make money, it actually does. Okay, so how do we do this? 
Well, first of all, you have to understand the nature of what you're dealing with, what you're actually looking for. And here's what I mean. One of my favorite questions to ask people is, you know, what is the system? Seriously, I know this sounds like super basic, but again, misconceptions that have people looking in the wrong places for answers. When I asked this question, I pulled my readers a while back and the common answers that I got were, you know, oh, my system, it's my rules or my indicators or my rules and indicators. Well, no, I mean, these are tools. They're what you use are part of a system. Your system is what you do. And this is an important perspective for you to understand because like the next question, okay, what is trading? Well, well, you know what most people think when I ask them this, well, we say, well, it's buying and selling securities. From one perspective, that is an accurate answer, but in its essence, really trading is a process. It's a decision-making process. We're taking in information, we evaluate it against certain criteria, make a decision, a decision based on that, that evaluation, and then we take action on you know, whatever decision we made. So it's a decision-making process, and this is really important for you to understand from a consistency standpoint. Okay, now, very common problem that a lot, that a lot of people have I mean, you know, as a trader, you're placing dozens, maybe hundreds of trades a year. Here's the big problem. Less than 30% of the people have their system documented. I mean, you've heard the wisdom, you know, document your system. This is so critical. Less than people have their system documented and almost nobody actually uses what they have documented. Most traders are going on memory, which is just dreadful. The problem with this is it is so easy for how you interpret things to change from one week to the next or, you know, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. Every, every day, you know, it, it's so easy for things, you know, to change how you interpret them depending on how you're feeling. This is a big problem from a consistency standpoint. I mean, as far as achieving consistent profits, if you want to profit as a trader and do so consistently, you must be very intentional. You can't wing it or go on memory or hunches or be sloppy. That's how you get killed. That's how you lose money or, you know, struggle to make money. If you want consistency over hundreds of trades over a period of time, you simply can't do like everyone else, you know, where you start trading and then try to hammer consistency in as an afterthought. That just doesn't work. So again, okay, so this is the process. Step one, define your system. D uh, D uh, w. Edward Stemming, the father of quality, he said, if you can't describe what you're doing as a process, you don't know what you're doing. And, and like he was like the guy who put Japan back on the map after World War II, it, it turned the American quality fun, you know, uh, competitiveness around. This is the guy. And, and this was like one of his foundational tenets is, first of all, you have to yeah, understand what you're doing as a process. And that's why I'd like to prove it, per, you know, prefer, or I like to call my um, a perspective on this procedural trading. I mean, because your system, again, is your decision-making guide. If trading, you know, is a process, your, your, your system is your decision-making guide. It's your step-by-step -step procedure for finding, entering, managing, and exiting trades. And a good system, is a well-defined and properly documented procedure. Without a proper procedure to follow, inconsistency will result sooner or later. I guarantee it. Like I said, I was a quality manager in manufacturing. I audited our plant. I audited other plants within our company. I audited uh, supplier plants, different operations. And almost every time consistency was a problem, this was a contributing factor, lack of a proper procedure or documentation. It's huge. I mean, really, this is the basis for everything else. If you don't have a properly defined and documented procedure, almost everything almost everything else you do will be of very limited value because this really is the heart of consistent results. And it's the first thing we attend to in my training program, which we'll get to here in a few minutes. I mean, when you use this, instead of frustration with winners that you cut short or manage, you know, or that you miss out on and losses that really shouldn't happen, your execution is solid. You get the most of every winner, you keep your losses small. And at the end of every day, you feel good knowing that you've performed at your best. Now, an example of this, I mean, Mark Barton sent me this. He says, hey, Brian, I've been hesitating so much that I actually started tracking it and found that I was hesitating on more than half of my trades. Since you helped me fix and document my system, I've seen a dramatic and measured improvement. I feel much more confident, relaxed, and able to pull the trigger when I need to than before. I mean, this has a huge impact. Everybody, even if they've been trading for 10 years, this by itself is huge. It has a huge impact on your ability. Okay, step two, establishing proof of concept and baseline performance. This is where we want to confirm that things work as intended and it produces the desired output. Again, you know, we're confirming expectations. I mean, this is where we attend to the big catch-22 that gets so many traders off in a wreck. I mean, most traders can't stick to their system long enough to establish the confidence they need to stick to it for any length of time. 
I mean, they go through the whole cycle of, well, I can trade with it for a little bit, but then, you know, I'm over here deviating with it and they can't trade with it long enough, you know, to get that good solid, solid confidence. And the thing is, by establishing proof of concept and getting the baseline performance metrics, now we know precisely how well we can expect our, our system to perform. This is huge. I mean, now understand, simple backtesting by itself is not enough. A lot of people come to me and I say, you know, Brian, I get it, you know, backtesting and everything. But the thing is, I can't seem to get my regular day-to-day -day re results to match up with my backtesting results. Well, see, this is where, you know, this is from an understanding, you know, that you do need to, you know, test things to prove them out. But you also have to understand the testing process and how to go about it properly. I've run into it in manufacturing. I've run into it in trading in almost every business that I've gone to. You have to understand the testing process, how to apply it, where, how the numbers are generated, where they come from. So, that you know, when, you know, when you can count on them and when to challenge them and when to flat out ignore them. I mean, the whole reason for this is so that you go into your trading with realistic expectations. This is absolutely critical. If you're thinking your system is never going to have more than two or three losing trades in a row and all of a sudden you hit five or six, which are actually perfectly normal for it, but you had the false perception that, you know, two or three is you know, all you should expect, that five or six is going to throw you off on a wreck and destroy your confidence and you go down that cycle again. Again, Realistic expectations are critical. So knowing how to prove it up, you know, so that it, you know its strengths and weaknesses and again, what to expect. I mean, this is really critical for confidence and discipline. You know, I mean, when are you most likely to deviate from your system? I mean, think about it. It's when you're feeling nervous or anxious about what, you know, what may or may not happen, right? Again, this is why it's critical to your survival to become a fearless trader. So the, you have the, the abilities to eliminate the fear and anxiety. When you know that your system will deliver, what to realistically expect, stick, sticking to your system becomes easy. That's why we confirm. It's really, you know, it's through the proper testing and analysis. In my quality assurance days, I learned the importance and value of this. I mean, when it's done incorrectly, it gives you false expectations, unpleasant surprises, and disappointment and continued frustration. But when you do it correctly, I mean, your fears just dissolve and so do your concerns. And this just gives you tremendous peace of mind and it's very cool. And when you use this, instead of most days being stress-filled, emotional roller coaster rides, you're at ease. You don't have to fight down your fears and anxiety. Staying disciplined gets easy. Instead of having no clue about how much you'll make this month, you'd be amazed how many traders I talk to and say, how much should you make? You know, you, you should be making each month. Most traders have no idea. They don't. They don't know how much money they should they should expect to make in a, in a given month. But when you know, you know, it, it's really cool. You get to relax. Again, because you have realistic expectations based on the real world, but you actually could put a dollar value to it, and that's wonderful. I mean, for example, uh, Richard Stewart. This is Brian. I must say that since I began analyzing my system in detail per your lesson, I've become more confident and more relaxed. Uh, Richard Daniels said, hey, Brian, just a note of thanks to you for the TPA. Been back testing a, a new-to-me system of plugging the results into the analyzer. Information it gives me is vital understanding you know, what this or any system can do. It's giving me a confidence in my system that otherwise might have been shaken by a few small losses. Again, the knowing the confidence, that's how you get fearless. Not courage. Courage is when you're trading in spite of fear. You're having to choke down fears. Confidence is when you know you're good. Okay, so step three in this, in this uh, overall process is dial in for, you know, for maximum profits. And really, you know, when you do this, it just further establishes confidence in your system because now, yes, you've maximized the profitability. You've got your system dialed in so that you know it's delivering to its full potential. You're not leaving money on the table. And the main thing is you want to do this in, in an organized manner so that you're not guessing or shooting in the dark. You're going to, you want to make changes in a calculated and business-like manner. And again, a common, a common mistake traders make is they just try stuff. You know, they make changes, then they make more changes, and then more changes, and after a while, they got a system that isn't producing, but they don't know what helped and what didn't. The main thing is you want to stay in forward progress mode using an organized and calculated approach. And when you do this, it's really cool. I mean, when things change in the market, you're well-equipped with the key information to make appropriate adjustments. So you not only survive changes, but you profit from them. You have peace of mind, and you actually enjoy the changes that are, that are inherent in the markets. I mean, like Phil, he says, hey, Brian, I used to get so frustrated and angry knowing that my system could do better, but I had no clue on how to affect changes except for just trying random stuff. As a result, I'd make a mess of everything, and I had no idea what worked out of the things that I tried. Now I know how to really tweak my system in a reasoned and calculated manner so that I'm actually making my system better, and I'm seeing the results. Uh, Bill uh, Robinson says, hey, Brian, before when there'd be a major shift in the market mood or something you know, like 2007, 2008, I'd be scared to death without a clue what to do. Now I don't worry. You've taught me how to adapt to changes in the markets, knowing that I'll be okay. 
This by itself is gold to me, just having the peace of mind. And we've been seeing a lot of this over the last several weeks. Now, I know it was not super specific. We're going to get more into details as we go along. That was this, you know, you're seeing a bit more in depth. But this method that you just saw is what I developed from taking my quality assurance tools and applying them to trading. I call this method trading system mastery. Just like the way quality assurance virtually guaranteed that we'd run good product in the manufacturing plant, trading system mastery is how you virtually guarantee your profits in trading and protect yourself from losing money. This is also the key to becoming a fearless trader. Okay, so we were talking about the skills and understandings, you know, that are required for trading. Um, and, and again, you know, most traders, you know, they're floating around out here and, you know, how to open an account, how to place trades, to just the real, you know, basic stuff, because they're thinking, oh, you know, it's easy enough. All I got to do is get busy. And th what they don't know is, no, you need to know how to select a system, how to evaluate a system, how to test and analyze a system to know, you know, is it any good? Does it work? How well does it work? how to fix it or dial it in if there are issues or you want to make changes to it. You got to know how to, you know, you have to know, you know when to use it and when not to and how to know. Again, these are all skills and understandings that are in that that are between the apparent level for success and the, the, the skill level required for independence. You also have to know how to adapt when things change. I mean, I've had some some uh, traders, you know, they've been, they've been emailing me, calling me saying, you know, Brian, I'm just, I have no clue what to do. I, you know, what I've been doing, it was working for like the last couple of years and now I, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. And uh, then I've had other traders say, you know, Brian, you know, why, don't, why is everybody freaking out? You know, we're going to do is, okay, volatility. So we just make a little adjustment. And that's the big difference is when you know what to do and how to adjust, how to make the adjustments. Okay. The big change in market mood, not a big deal. And this one right here, this how to build confidence. Again, this is huge. This is a skill. It's not just the, you know, hey, how do I get feeling good and wishing it or trying to will it into place? The quality assurance tools attend to all this, all these things here, how to select a system, how to evaluate it, test and analyze it, fix it or dial it in. All these things, these are skills that are in this zone here that, you know, when you acquire these and you work your way up to the required, you know, the level required for independence, that's when things really start getting good. And that's, that's what's cool. Okay, so the next thing is once you hit that, you know, level required for independence, you're, you know, you are a fully self-sufficient trader here. Now you can start, you know, developing these skills, you know, how to grow your account, how to scale your trading, how to expand your capabilities, how to build your playbook. This is when it really starts getting fun for traders. And this is, this is what I want to teach you. Um, I mean, really, if you look at it, this is what most traders do. They, they get to this level and then they just kind of fart around. They're trading and they're learning the hard, you know, by heart, by mistakes and hard lessons. Traders that get the training that, you know, you wish you would have had at the beginning of things, the trading system mastery, you ramp up real fast to the level required for independence because you learn all these things. And then you're up here in the zone of fearlessness, fearlessness. And that's really cool. Okay. So let's keep moving. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll cover more on this in just a, in just a minute. I mean, there, there's one more important matter and this is really, really big. So one mistake I see people make all the time is they try to have this one massive system that captures every possible profit opportunity. And they, so what they've done is they've mashed together different systems and indicators and pieces of systems. And I just, it, it's just this gigantic mess that doesn't produce profits and it's hard to trade. But the thing is, there's really no one size fits all system. You know, that just, it, it's killing it in every possible scenario. I mean, there are a few systems that can be used at all times under all circumstances, but very few. And even those are going to have a range of performance. Generally speaking, there are three market, market conditions that occur on any given day, but there are also, you know, different general moods and external factors that can affect, you know, how any given system will perform. So what you want to do is understand trading is kind of like football. Again, it's a dynamic environment. In a football game, on every down, you got a different situation in front of you. I mean, the football coach, you know, he's going to use certain plays on first and ten, others for when it's third and short, still others, for, you know, for when it's third and long. It all depends on the situation. And as a trader, you want to position yourself the same way. I mean, well, all right. So trading, you know, as a coach, you got a playbook and you choose which which play to use accordingly. Well, in trading, you want a playbook too. You want to start with one trading system that works, but over time, you want to develop a portfolio of systems. Again, a playbook so that no matter what's going on in the markets, what the markets are doing, you have the appropriate system to use and one that you know works in those conditions. The trading system mastery, the skill set is how to build it. By applying trading system mastery, one system at a time, 
over time, you'll have some different systems that you, you, know, you can use so that no matter what's going on in the markets, you're well positioned to make the most of it. Instead of freaking out like everybody else, you simply pull out the right play from your playbook and have some fun making money. Again, with Trading System Mastery, it's all you know, about being intentional and approaching your trading in a calculated, organized, business-like, and most importantly, knowing manner. You don't want to, you know, going on hope, wishful thinking, guesswork, or relying on claims of others is how so many people lose a lot of money in trading. You got to be knowing and intentional about it. And now, with this very, this very same method I outlined to you is what I personally use to keep my trading consistently profitable and stress-free. And if you'd like me to give you my complete blueprint and help you create your own profitable trading operation, I'd be delighted to help you. I'll personally lead you through a series of lessons and exercises where I show you exactly how to define and document your trading procedure confirm that it works and then dial it in so it'll meet your goals and expectations and also how to make changes to your system when things change. My mission is to give you the skills, tools, and process and experience to trade with confidence and make consistent profits so that you know you're the, you're the fearless trader. This training takes one to four, four weeks to complete depending on how much time you want to devote to it. It can happen really fast. Um, I mean, okay, and here's what you're getting. Right? Again, I call it trading system mastery. And so if you want to document your system in a manner that's easy to follow and execute consistently, if you want to know to the dollar what you know your monthly profit potential is for your trading system, if you want to know what to realistically expect from your trading system in terms of profit, drawdown, winning percentage, average return per trade, all the key metrics, you want to know when to use your system, and when to leave it on the sideline, how to dial it in, you know, tweak your system so that it delivers maximum profit so you're not leaving money on the table, and adapt when you need to in a calculated and organized way so that you always know what helps and what doesn't. Okay, well, here's how it works. This, this, is, this is the process. First, we start with you know, just the mental preparation. It, it really, you got to have the mindset for it though, and the, the understandings to really shift your perspectives to make fearless trading easy. You'll see how this approach and paradigm has been worth billions in other industries. And again, it starts with step one, define and document. I'll teach you how to build, your, you know, build consistency in from the very start. And again, it, def it all starts with defining your system to make it super user friendly you got to know how to structure your trading system, teach you how to word things, what to include, what to leave out, how to eliminate causes of inconsistency. Then we we'll go to step two, confirmation. You know, you learn the thought process for testing, understanding that, you know, of the testing process, how to plan your sampling. That's critical. And again, it's from a quality background can really help you out. So where so many traders, they, that's why they, they're, they're unhappy with their own testing procedures. They think it's a waste of time because they're not, they're not doing it right. You also have to understand the numbers. And, you know, because when you understand the numbers, again, how they're calculated, how they're generated, all that kind of stuff, you know when to believe them and when to challenge them, and that's critical. Step three is optimization. You know, how to use your metrics and your documented system to plan your, op your optimization so that you can do it in a strategic fashion. And what you're staying in continuous improvement mode so that you only take steps forward. And really, this is how you stay organized and you know what works and what doesn't. Okay, so right now you're probably wondering about the cost. Well, when you join, you get everything. Your trading system gets defined and documented in a super user-friendly way, making it easy to trade and execute consistently. Your system gets benchmarked so you know that the dollar, what its capabilities and limitations are. Your system gets tweaked for maximum profit and delivery. And if now if you don't have it, you know, if you don't have a system right now, I can help you with that. But really, I mean the main thing is the inconsistencies that have been taking all the fun and profit out of your trading get removed, and you learn how to do this for yourself. When you learn the skill set and you can take any system and make it work like it's supposed to, that's when you find that you and D are sitting on acres of diamonds. There are trading systems or strategies all over the place. You'll know how to take any of those strategies that you like. You just want to play with them. You want to experiment with them. That sounds like fun or you know really a good money maker. You'll know how to take it and make it work. You also become that fearless trader where you're really truly fully self-sufficient and independent. You're able to stand on your own two feet and move quickly when you need to, like what we've just experienced. And really, you start enjoying the trading that you signed up for in the first place. I mean, instead of continuing to pay your dues, but not get the you know rewards that you deserve, you know, things are what you want. I mean, what you again, you know, the, what you really signed up for in the first place. Okay. Now, when people hire me to work with them one on one, that fee ranges from twenty four ninety nine to five thousand dollars, but you won't have to pay that. And I'm sure you can see how getting your, your trading system maximized and producing consistently week in and week out and being able to trade fearlessly, you know, having it produce at its potential would easily be worth $2,500 or more. But you're going to get some other bonuses. The Trader's Guide to Emotional Management. This is essentially emotional intelligence for traders to help you deal with, you know, the purely psychological stuff that doesn't have to do with your system. 
You know, maybe you got some painful trades to deal with. This will help you with that. Understanding self-sabotage that kills trading accounts. Huge. So I got to, I'm including a video for that. The 10 essential components of a high probability winning trading system. You want it, you know, you're wanting that for yourself too. And the trading performance analyzer. So, and this, this one's really cool. The analyzer, I mean, it's, it's got the trading system profit potential calculator so that you know exactly how much profit you can expect from your system to the dollar. You have monthly analysis and cumulative metrics so you know how well your system's doing and when, you know, and when action is needed. Also got the year to day tracker so you can see your month by month performance. It's a really excellent tool. It doesn't do anything and everything under the planet. It's meant to simplify and give you your critical stuff in a nice, easy to use, user friendly manner. Now, all this stuff is available to you 24 7 online so that you can go at your own pace and at your convenience. Again, we've got online videos, templates, spreadsheets, and more. Now, I know this may sound like a lot, but actually, it's really quick and pretty easy. The training videos are very concise, no filler. It's less than five hours in total for all the training videos. Again, it, it's it's more about doing than it is about, you know, sitting or watching videos. I, I give you lessons. I, I give you the understanding, give you stuff to do. It's like, here, go do it. And you learn from doing. Now, of course, you know, implementing them won't be as quick as the five hours. It's going to take a little bit of additional time. But again, this is something that you complete, you know, you can complete your transformation into a fearless trader over the next few days if you want. Or if you want to take your time, do it over the next couple of weeks. Plus, I am here to help you. You can email me anytime and I'll answer any questions that you have. So if you look at all you're getting, you're getting the Trading System Mastery Training, the Analyzer, the Trader's Guide to Emotional Management, the, the for, you know, self-sabotage video, the winning uh, components of a winning trading system. If you total it all up, it's almost $3,000. When you register, you get everything for $4.99. Now, that's the normal everyday thing, but, I mean, you're here, and I'm, I'm really pleased that you're here on this webinar because I know you're, the fact that you're here tells me you're looking to grow and develop yourself as a trader. You're not just looking for the next shiny thing. You're not looking for the easy button that will turn your, you know, your laptop into an ATM. You're serious about this. You want to grow. And so instead of the $4.99, you can get instant access to everything for just two payments of $99. That's, that's saving $300. That's 60% off the everyday price. And actually, if for being an action taker, you jump on this, sign up today, April 2nd, 2020, you get instant access to everything for just one payment of $99. That's it. I want you to have this skill set so that, again, you can become the fearless trader that you want to be, that you need to be. You can't afford to trade with fear. Being a courageous trader sucks. That's very stressful. Being a fearless trader where you know you're solid, you know you're good, that's the way to trade. And again, just one payment of $99, that's saving $400. That's, and you know, now the thing is, after today, or you know, if you're watching the recording, the price is two times 99. This is just for people on, you know, on the webinar here today, taking action today. And again, look at all you're getting. You're getting all the training, the analyzer, the videos, um, the Trader's Guide to Emotional Management. You can get started right now with just 99 bucks. Um, now, all you need to do is click the link in the chat box. Let me uh, put that in there so you can go ahead and get started. Um, questions. Excellent. Put this in the chat. Okay, so that link is in the chat. Um, and let's see, other questions. Nope. Sorry about that. Um, just to help me keep track on time. Okay. Now, uh, as far as, um, you know, in case you're wondering, you know, yes, I, I, I am an engineer. Remember that I'm trained to make things work. I'm a degree mechanical engineer. I'm a certified quality engineer. I know how to make things work. And I am also trained on how to effectively train others. That was a big part of the, I mean, a huge part of the quality function. Again, my, one of my big things, my major areas focus was getting perform, consistent performance out of everybody in the plant, not just the machines, but the people. And training was a huge part of that, as well as the document system and everything else. So again, I'm actually, in, in, in the reason this works so well for me and my clients is because it's quality assurance. It just plain works if consistency and good solid performance it's what you want. And again, I'm trained on how to effectively train others on how to do this, which means that, yes, this will work for you. This will benefit you hugely. And yeah, I've also got you back. And for some reason, and it's only happened with four people over the last 10 years, for some, in the unlikely event, 
that you put these lessons to use and they don't produce the promised result of your trading being more organized, more effective, and you just plain having a high level of confidence with it, just let me know. I'll gladly give you a full refund. It's that simple. I'm going to click on the link right now and get started. Now, understand something else. If you don't learn this skill, you're going to be dependent on other people, you know, for their expertise and their integrity. Because if you don't know how to attend to a, a trading system properly, again, how to evaluate it, how to fix it if there's something wrong, how to, you know, benchmark it and all that kind of stuff. If you don't know how to really, you know, take a system and take it to market and, you know, know that it works in a very calculated manner, you're forced to go to others to create that system for you. I mean, I, again, I've, I've had people come to me that have been trading for like, you know, 10 years and they're still on the quest. They're looking for a good system because they keep going and they, they're forced to go look to others to create the system for them. And that sucks because in that, when you're in that position, you're hoping that they'll be able to give you a true system and not just, you know, another clever strategy, but a lousy system. So you can sign up now. You can take a chance on yourself and change your future and experience what you've wanted to all along. And it's true independence and freedom where you know how to do things for yourself and you know that you're okay and you can live life as a fearless trader. Go ahead and get started. I mean, just go ahead and click on the link. And let's get rocking and rolling right now. Now, again, thanks for attending. Uh, I told you I had a gift for you. Um, we're, we're rolling up on time. And uh, I mean, okay, so if you want to get to uh, What If Analyzer, go to insideouttrading.com forward slash What If Analyzer. And to go ahead and get signed up for the Trading System Mastery, uh, go to uh, insideouttrading.com forward slash TSM-99. And you can go ahead and get started. You can get started right now. I mean, before it's Thursday, you can do this over the weekend and come Monday, you'd have a whole different trading experience. Again, instead of being fearful, being nervous, not knowing what to do, you'd be in a position to know. And it's just absolutely, it's been a game changer. It was game changer for me. It's been game changer for hundreds of traders that have come to me over the years. And it'll work for you too. It, quality assurance has been around decades. It just plain works. And Again, when, when you're in a position and you know how to do this for yourself, you can trade however you want. You want to try something different tomorrow. You want to change you know, what you trade. You want to change your, your whole plan altogether. I've had a number of traders. They trade for you know a few years as a day trader. get a little burnout on that. They cut it back to part-time. Then after a while, they're like, well, you know, I'd rather be golfing than staring at charts all day. So they want to shift, you know, it, it, change their trading entirely instead of having an intraday system, you know, where they're sitting in front of the uh, computer looking at the charts. They want to go to something where it's like, you know, 10 minutes a week and they're doing or end of day trading where it's, you know, 20 minutes at the end of the day because I'd rather be golfing or fishing or whatever. And the cool thing is when you have this skill set, you can make those pivots and shifts anytime you want. You can wake up tomorrow morning and decide you want to do things totally differently and you know how to go about it in a very business-like and calculated manner. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Again, I applaud that you're here to learn and grow as a trader. Anything I can do to help you, come by InsideOutTrading.com. be happy to help you out. Otherwise, go ahead and get started with this. You'll, you'll be glad you did. So, again, welcome, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about rule-based long-term and short-term trading. And I encourage you to take some notes because if you want to go through a couple of hours of training, you might have a hard time finding what you want to capture. And so therefore, taking a notepad and a pen is always helpful. Here, a little bit of disclaimer, trading has a risk. I'm here as a trader and educator, and so not as a broker dealer, so I cannot give trading advice to you, but I'll show you a concept and a system that I follow daily, and many others do too a little bit to our history yeah so we started out with the typical hotel meetings that's here me at the caesar's palace in las vegas presenting to the charts that we had at the time i think it's from 2010 and uh, quickly we learned one thing in the classroom setup or by videos people are not really getting into trading they do too many things wrong and then it makes it expensive because then you pay the market so with that we decided to go on one-on-one -on -one training yeah and our training classes mentorships they go within five hours to 20 hours of working together one-on-one -on -one going through making you the trader that you want to be yeah and we are 10 years in business so it's not just that we are just around for a year so we are 10 years in business even a little more we were formed the company in 2008 and we look at algorithmic concepts to follow institutional money moves and i show you all of that in detail yeah 
never lost trading some people are opposed to it say what does it mean it comes from the idea never stop loss trading because we repair trades and that was a little bit lengthy so we call it never loss trading because instead of taking the stop we try to repair our trades and i show you what benefit you can take from this so today's presentation rule-based long-term and short-term trading we can want to go identify changes in supply and demand that's where we got our algorithms for. Specify entries, exits, and stops. So at the beginning of a trade, you exactly know when to enter, under which conditions, when to exit, and where to have a stop, or as we say, where to adjust your trade. Yeah, and apply appropriate strategies. We talk about this one too. Yeah, so which strategies suit? And I give you a couple of examples today for option trader. Yeah. Uh, limit risk, very, very important because many traders have unlimited risk here. Yeah? So even long stocks, unlimited risk, we should do it a little different and follow a defined financial and action plan. So that's the outline of my 45 minutes here. I've got a little less for now, but we're going to make it and go through with you. What am I talking about when I say algorithmic trading? Pretty easy, the usage or using a computer that follows a defined instruction, an algorithm to place a trade. But one thing we do, we let the computer paint the opportunity. We do not let the computer execute your trade. Yeah, You are in charge, you are the chief commander, you'll push the button if you want to take the trade or not. We're not going to leave that up to the computer. Yeah, But the computer helps us to specify entry conditions so that we can work with a buy stop, sell stop order. Uh, predefined exit conditions OCO one cancels the other which of the trades comes through and it closes itself so we save you screen time because we pre-program the action and show you how that can be done so that you don't need to be in control of everything that's happening on your screen yeah the algo is able to analyze much faster than we can and paints it on the chart for us yeah Price is a result, not a variable. What do I mean with that? So here I put a formula for harmonic wave. That's not what we use to predict uh, our price future. Just gives you an example. So the f of x, yeah, back to school, that's the price. That's the result of what the algo equations or the variables that we listed here in are uh, behind, yeah? And so therefore this would be being an alternating continuing wave that's not how you can measure price moves. Price moves are erratic, and we use a system very close to a seismic measure that paints when something is going on in the underlying structure of the supply and demand, prints a buy or a sell signal, and immediately, on the other hand, prints a target. We call the target price move SPOO, speed unit, yeah? from entry to exit. This is the price move, but it's extrapolated directly from the chart on the chart telling you where to enter where to exit because price moves are erratic they are not normal distributed totally wrong yeah so many of the models that use that you'll be seeing when you trade like this you're not going to be happy with yourself and there are pre-stages of a price move yeah where something changes in supply and demand and that's where our algorithms and filters come in those are measured and then filtered through and giving you entry and exit conditions yeah I give you an example, long example. So how would that look out here? Yeah, so you have a stock that you want to buy. You have a buy stop order at 203.50, a fixed value. So you know from the get-go before the market starts, this is to be reached. If the price gets there, I'll buy. If it doesn't get there, I don't want to trade. Then it specifies an entry price with the SPOO, the speed unit, giving the idea of how far the price move shall reach. And we also have a stop or adjustment level that you can read off the chart. And between entry and uh, adjustment level, there needs to be a certain relation to make the trade worthwhile, because if your risk is too high to make the trade, we don't want it. Pretty easy, yeah? And why does it work? Look, 85% or more of all uh, financial market transactions are institutional based. Yeah, institutions accumulate or dispose assets and they do it in a vast manner. And with that, they make changes in supply and demand. That's where our seismic system is picking it up, formulating out the potential of the move, giving the direction of the move, and we are faster in and out than them. Because some people say, why is a following follower system working? Because you know, with the big amount of money they need to get in or out, we be faster. 
and this is how a chart looks. Yeah, so that's a chart. Uh, that's a trade that we just posted on our blog uh, for traders who want to do a short-term trading. It's based on a 20-minute chart, and that's the MES, the uh, micro account for the S&P futures. Yeah, so the, you see here, there's a formulated buy above 25.29. Here we go. Next candle takes it out. Yeah, let me take a little pan over here. Yeah, so that was the price. A threshold formulated here, yeah. So it takes it out, and then we have two targets: target one, target two. So at target two, we say the following: it went higher, but that doesn't matter for us. When that price move of two spoo is surpassed, then there's an 85% chance that the price halters, reverses, or does something else, and that's exactly what it did here. So you see here, sell. 25 40 and 50 cents next candle ticked it out target one confirming signal right now after sell 25 25 30 that's 25 and here is the target two so 20 points 23 points you can trade that with the es2 i just proposed the mes to our clients reasoning is some wanted to trade on a lower risk profile and with less uh, maintenance margin at the time where we are talking, the maintenance margin for the ES is $13,200 and for the MES it's uh, $1,320. So that makes a considerable difference on this one. So let me erase all my drawings here and also take my pointer back. And so you see other indications on the chart, yeah? Blue framed environments go up. And if you trail the stop, that red line where you see now my arrow going up, that would be your trailing stop. So if you hadn't gone out at the two spoo, you would be stopped here, making much less money. Yeah, so again, then this, this can be used. And you see here in the background, what we call a purple zone. What's the indication of that? Ambiguity. Yeah, we mix red and blue and it is purple. So there is no price direction. And on top of the chart, you always see at the candle that that is measured. The spool is 16.3, yeah, no trending at the moment, target stop, everything is there. And if you trade at the current candle, you have a 1.9 reward to risk. So it's a very favorable trade setup. So this is what you see all on our dashboards. And they spell it out over and over for every time frame, not just here, the 20 minute, that's just an example, how to trade in times of volatility. Yeah? And so the SPOO is our predominant element. With that, we measure and say, okay, after one SPOO price move, there's often a 65% likelihood that prices reverse after two SPOO, 85%. So after two SPOO, you want to be out of the trade because the likelihood that it continues in the same manner is low. Why is that? Because the big money has to rebalance the inventory, so the flood supply or shorten supply, and that makes price changes. So here's the model. We detect with our indicators that there's a change in supply and demand underlying. It goes into a out of a price containment area, gets confirmed, that's the price threshold. Then we enter through a buy stop order, for example, in that long uh, uh, trade here, buy at 325. Bong, it's done, and we have a clearly defined exit here. I just added eight dollars to it. Say okay, at that eight dollars we exit, and we have also our price adjustment level or stop level 319. Every trade that you do needs to somehow systematically paint that on the chart for you. Does it work to the downside too? Exactly the same way. What I'm going to show you today, and you saw one chart already, that's the top line chart, uh, is how we measure those three stages. And uh, we're going to talk about the continuation uh, pattern. That's our entry level system, tradecolors.com, and the top line system. And here you see an additional green signal because I want to make a special offer within including one of our specialty HF systems in it. And so we are acting with confirmed signals only. Only when that price threshold buy or sell is surpassed in the next candle, then we are taking and accepting the trade. Yeah, you see it here again. There. Buy 25.29, surpassed so in the next candle, so your buy stop kicked in, carried you out. After two spoo, you go home, or you trail it here with the red line. The same here, you, you'll do it here, okay? You bring it home, 
and in ambiguity, what you do, you build it on trade because the system is telling you it's not good. But, so the MES, yeah, as said before, is the E-micro. It is 10% of the ES. So with that, the maintenance margin is 13, 20. A point value is five. The spoo in 20 minutes is between 10 and 20 points. Yeah, so it's easy to play. You can have multiple contracts or you can change over to the ES. The chart always portrays the same. I'll give you a couple of examples here. Yeah, So that was just an overnight trade. I recorded this morning, Yeah, two overnight trades. Yeah, Yesterday night, we had a sell 2481, came to target, and then it was over. Yeah, so here we go. There we had another sell signal uh, in the early morning hours at five. Oops, that wants to go back for a second here. At five, that was carried through that line. And what we do in our mentorships when we work with you, like here with top line 20 hours, we teach you all those rules. Therefore, the topic today is called rule-based trading. You learn the rules to apply them over and over to be a consistent trader. Yeah, and so I put another chart in here from uh, 320, yeah, so March 20, and you see these signals, they repeat themselves on the way up, on the way down, and you always get clearly cut signals here. It was a volatile day, SPU was high, 30 points up to uh, 50 points, and so therefore a lot was to be accomplished in a day with a meaningful uh, risk reward. You see here the risk reward here on the dashboard was 2.5 to 1. So that means the reward was for $1 of risk, $2.50 of a return. And that's a very favorable setup. You don't always get them, but they happen from time to time. Yeah, when you want to learn more about that futures concept, I don't want to trade, uh, take all the time for it. Write me an email, subject futures trades, and I sent you the concept, the write up, and you see how we operate with those rule base. Going to cost you nothing, I'll send it to you. Or if you want to go and see more of what we are doing, go to our blog at WordPress. Uh, there you see multiple opportunities of how we work with our system to detect institutional money moves and work along with those. Yeah? And so composition of trading success, I want to give you a little algo saying, okay, what is needed for you while you are here as a free gift in your trading to make you the successful trader you want to be? First of all, indication. Yeah, I showed you the indication of a price move with a stop, with an entry, and with an exit. Then a strategy, we'll talk about this one. I'll invite you then when we have the indication, what strategy do we apply? How do we manage risk? Yeah, very, very important, very essential. Look, we work with a probability as traders, but we can manage the risk. We don't know if what we think happens will happen, but we manage the risk. Discipline, yeah, to be on the ball, yeah, to do it the right way. I'll show you what I mean with that. Trade finding, because you want an opportunity seeker, because every day you need to feed yourself through in, uh, uh, being part of finding a trade, an opportunity. And the two systems that I propose today, there's always opportunity finders integrated in them. You can do it on your own, but we also have the Nevelos trading alerts where we send those alerts on a daily basis to you, looking at daily, weekly, monthly, and four hour opportunities and plan following. I'll fill that with life here. Yeah, so indication and strategy. How can we combine that? So we had just recently, 3.30, yeah, we had an indication, USO, yeah, you know, uh, that's following the oil trade, had a long opportunity. So now we wanna, do system and strategy. It's an inexpensive ETF. Yeah, four dollars and nineteen was our entry price. That's where we bought. Yeah, and but we do not just buy the stock straight forward. We said to ourselves, okay, we can give ourselves a buffer of forty-one cents when we sell the May seventeen uh, five-dollar call. So that means we got immediately forty-one cents back. So what does it mean for our cash or per share? Yeah, if you have a cash account, so uh, like an IRA, three dollars and seventy-eight difference between four nineteen and four uh, forty-one percent, uh, forty-one cents less. That's what it is. Or if you have a margin account, so it's half of what you spent for the share, uh, plus a uh, minus the forty-one cents of an income. Why do we make that extra income? Look, we'll I'll show it to you. Yeah, at expiration when the trade holds true, will get 
called at five dollars we make 81 cents profit on the stock and we may keep our premium the 41 cents is a dollar 22 and that is a return on cash yeah so that's the cash value up there of 32 percent or a return on margin of 72 percent in 57 days and what if the trade goes oops if the trade goes wrong yeah if the trade goes wrong we have a 10 percent buffer in it by the premium we received and look if everything goes totally wrong and that goes to two dollars we just need to roll five times the uh the call and we have a zero trade it's not going to get there because it's impossible but just to see look if you combine strategy and that's an easy way of doing a simple covered call here but are you doing it and are you having a trade finder telling you that that trade was on we have that in stock and so we operate with that on a daily level and i show you a couple of more trades yeah so here for example long term a monthly chart uh, for March, so that means that came out end of February. It says, okay, go short Boeing aircraft and ANF. Yeah, so okay, Abercrombie and Finch. Yeah. So those two were on the list, and they were spelled out and say, okay, it's down, down, down. Well, what do you want to do? So with our alerts, we spell out where we want to enter into the trade. You see it here, entry price. Yeah, 268.57, that's the threshold. If that happens, I want to short Boeing aircraft. Okay, and if you don't want to short the stock, what can you do? You can buy a put or you can sell a call spread, for example, or you could do a put spread, yeah, long. So all of this is possible. All of this is possible in most of the accounts that you can have. And now let's see how it panned out. So that was on a chart. So you see that purple zone, ambiguity. In February, it already ticked out and says, look, you better short that thing, yeah? And then you better short it too in March, confirming signal on the way, target two. Did it go a little deeper? Absolutely, but that we don't care. If you made that substantial price move that's here on a chart with a put, you'd be very happy. If the put didn't fulfill the conditions, because in the prior chart, you see on the background, here we spell out fair six months option prices, but you can go shorter term two, we'll show all of this. So if that cannot be taken, then we'll need to operate with a spread because the spread is taking the volatility out. And so with that, you have an opportunity to participate in that. And the same with A and F, I just took a couple of different targets, but you saw here, here we weren't confirmed on that signal. There were others on the bottom, but I'll leave them aside. But again, February to March, yeah, short target home, done. Yeah, and that's, those are substantial changes. If you shorted the stock, you'll have a nice return. If you shorted within a put, uh, you have a very, very nice return. But so, so for 11 years, we had a bull market. Now things are changing. I'm not saying that we're going to have a bear market. I'm just saying we have more erratic price moves. Volatility is back there. Volatility is ambiguity, yeah, fear. And so with that, every day something new happens. Today we have 3 million more uh, unemployed people and the stock market reacts positive. Okay, that's good. Because, But on the other hand, it tells you it's hard to predict, but with a system that tells you when and how to operate and put a trade together, you have a different chance. So we need to short stocks too. And we can do that with an option trading example. Yeah, I show you here. This is an actual account of somebody who works with us. Yeah, and originally he wanted to make uh, $2,500 per month. Yeah, so here are all the trades, and I did all those trades too, are we? Yeah, and so here is profit in. Um, January 8,745, and here we weren't that good because we want to usually be above 65% uh, attainment rate, winners over losers. But anyhow, the way we constellate the trades, the average win was 681, the average loss 371. In the next month, you see we were balanced, 1389, 1266, and in March, we did very favorable, 1158 average against 682 on the losers, 71% winners, 74% losers. So instead of $7,500, what he had expected to make, but he did all those trades, he produced $37,000. That's a substantial thing. <clears throat> 
and you say, where do all these trades come from? Nevertheless, trading alerts or the own scanners. How did we constellate them? We combine uh, indication and strategy. Yeah, so you see here, some were calls, some were puts, some were spreads. So we assemble them as we can go because our system is spelling out the condition, the indication for you. But with that, you see already, it's more than just an indicator. You will need to leverage your opportunities, a lot of knowledge, and in particular, trade finder. You need to find those trades. Did you know that oil is going up? We didn't know either, but our algo told us, go and get something in oil. And instead <clears throat> of getting the big contract, we went in USO, and it's a nice trade we put forward. Yeah, And we execute with strategy, so different strategy by different uh, indication limiting risk all of these strategy were risk limiting strategies we're not going to sell naked puts naked calls we don't do any of those and we stay disciplined yeah we always go within a certain range of a risk that we accept yeah option trading is super fantastic because you leverage yeah you can have a much higher return than when you trade the stock straight forward and you can limit your risk if a stock trades down 50% you'll take the 50% risk, but if you only have a 2% risk uh, in your option trade between what, uh, of the premium that you might have spent, that's a different story. But on the other hand, option trading has a lot of imperatives, and that's what the person whom I just showed you learned, and will handhold also. Price move indication, option chain, which one is tradable, what, uh, um, others are not, because some some of the stocks that have options, they have an awful option chain, a huge bid ask spread, no volume, and no open interest. So you don't want to get into that. But somebody has to show you how that is done, how a trade repair is done, because sometimes we have to roll, sometimes we have to turn <clears throat> a long call or a long put into a spread. And there's all conditions and rules that are learned for the strike price to select, the time to expiration, and the appropriate strategy. And that's what we teach. Therefore, we spend 20 hours with people because this is a learning experience. If you say, I don't care, I want to learn futures trading and that, we compose in our mentorship with the indicators your specific program. It's all made for you. You have a tailor-made suit afterwards based on our indications. Yeah, so now we saw Indication strategy in combination, now risk management, risk management. We have risk acceptance, so how much risk do you accept and how can you repair your trade because that helps you to not accept so much risk. So the risk acceptance should be for every trade, two to 5% max risk per trade of your portfolio value. So you increase your portfolio value as that person does, then you can put a little more money at risk, but always percentage based. And why is it two to five? Depending on the strengths of the indication, yeah, the odds of the setup, they determine if the trade goes into the right direction for you. And then on the other hand, we have the, the signal that decides for the risk and we apply risk limiting strategies. Max premium you can lose, what you invested, max premium you can lose on the spread. So the difference between what you paid and what you get or uh, the difference between a credit spread, yeah? Uh, do not exit at the stop, yeah? So that's what we teach to repair your trade, a pride or trade repair. 80% of the time it's cash neutral. You don't need cash. 20% of the time you have to add to the investment, but we consider also the risk. We don't want to have one trade more than 5% of the overall portfolio, whatever we have to do with it. All of this is clear cut risk management and you should have taken a note regardless if you work with us or somebody else this is the make or break of your future as a trader yeah and uh, a little calculation on an options repair so when you do an options trade long puts or calls you have about a 70 percent win probability and 70 percent loss the way we constellate the trade you have two cents slippage what slippage the difference between bid and ask your option price at one share, I just postulate. Yeah, so when you win, you win 68 cents, 70% of a dollar minus two cents slippage. When you lose, you lose 70 cents plus two cents slippage. Yeah, and then we have two out of three trades. That's what we focus on. Our systems produce in average 65% and higher probability to predict the price direction. So with that, you make 64 cents in 
three trades. Nice. Now, if we reduce the loss by 50% by applying a strategy, yes, yeah, so you'll see with the same gain how we are coming quickly to a 60, 56% higher return. That's substantial. So this is why trade repair, never stop loss trading is such an element essential for your future. Yeah, you need to know the risk acceptance and the repair ability of every trade and you will do very, very different. Yeah, then you will rather jumping for dollars because the higher return, but you need to have the knowledge and skill set. If you don't have it, don't trade these options because then they are highly, highly complicated and they can cost you a lot. <clears throat> so adding the next one, discipline. What do we mean by that? On the discipline side, clear cut entry rules. Whatever you do, I end the trade when this and this happens at that price period. Clear cut target, yeah? and the target should have two elements, a price target and also a time. So many bars is the max that I stay in the trade. If it didn't happen, I'll see if the situation is there. Clear appraisals. Stop, define stop or price adjustment level. Risk reward evaluation. Yeah, so not every trade is worth it because some have too a high risk and your system needs to give you that as a feedback. And with that, we do the position sizing. Yeah, you saw in the table of the client that did these trades, there were different uh, income streams and different losses that came from the position sizing and we have models for that. So here you see at every of our reports, we have max premiums to pay for the direct, for example, for 30 day option, 20 day option, 12 day option. So you have an idea and when that doesn't work, you need to change the strategy. Yeah? So then you can buy a uh, put or call, then you do uh, buy, uh, for example, a spread or you sell a spread. Yeah? So now trend finding, <clears throat> bringing that into the cohesion. We have multiple ways of trade finders. We have that integrated into the systems, like in top line, you have your own scanner, you have your watch list scanner, and even in the simplest one, you have watch list scanners on trade colors here. Yeah? So those alerts that come out, they give you the clear cut indication of what to do, and you want to stay invested because you, you saw at these three columns at the beginning, one month there were 36 trades, but look at it like this. That person spends about two hours a day, max of screen time. Everything gets pre-prepared. We talk in the morning early at seven, map out what to be traded. Then the orders go in at that point in time, condition two, certain things happen. And then there's an adjustment or whatever. So the max with preparation, layout, entry, and closing the day, two hours of work, that was a nice return. And he paid himself a nice wage based on this. Yeah. So if you want to be part of what I showed you here, I sent you a week of Neverless Trading Stock Alerts. I just want your email, yeah, uh, subject line uh, alerts or stock alerts, sorry. Uh, but please, a legit name, not trader, super trader 123, because then I write you back, hey, super trader 123, I want to have a meaningful conversation. So take the opportunity. It's free. I send it to you. It's Excel based. And I also sent you a little video that you see, okay, which ones are selected. And from there, you have a good idea of how we get into trades uh, by being very detailed. It is a part of reading, but the video will explain. Yeah. And following a plan. So that's the next one that we have. So why to follow a plan? We always encourage every trader to have a written plan, a financial plan. Yeah. How many trades do I want to take? How do I want to compose them? Which time frame do I want to take them from? Uh, what do I want to achieve with it? And an action plan which of the trade conditions do I want? How do I define my entries, my exits? So I help you or we help you writing that. And every plan is different because you have a tailor-made suit by the composition or the affinity of what you want to trade. Most of our, not all of our trades, they work on IRA, they work on margin accounts, they work on cash accounts. Yeah, so be open for that, but you need to have a dedicated action plan and we and also a financial plan. And we write that to with you. There's an example here. Yeah? So that's for one person. The composition was some uh, shorter term trades, some option trades, some day trades, and you see here that was the return 
that person was shooting for. And we again have here the 65% uh, probability so that we hit the target right. But we need to feed the beast, so we'll need to go through trades here. Because think about it, when one trade, when you always have the lowest likelihood is 2% of your account holdings, you'll need to run through trades for accumulating. But you saw in the example, if you do it right, you'll make solid returns and with that can increase your participation. And we give you also like these uh, evaluation schemes of how to evaluate the situation. Yeah? And all of this, how you say, what is it based on? Our charts are based on Think or Swim. Super duper platform. Uh, I'm with Think or Swim, I used to use it yeah? since 2004, I think. And um, it gives you all live data for free. That's exceptional, yeah? And so on that, we programmed our indicators and we install them on the server for you. You don't have to do anything. We set up your charts. We show you also how you can change your charts, but that's all in the service that we do. We have real-time data feeds for all the instruments without fees. That's super fantastic. And if you have an LLC or whatever you trade from, I show you how you still get um real-time data without pay yeah because you know professional accounts need to pay yeah so then you have entry exit and stop always defined right on the chart for you we have position sizing where we help you in which percentage between the two and five are you going to be within that but the final end is you it's not the excel sheet the time in the trade because we measure time also say how much time do I want to stay in the trade to move that forward and we do the risk handling as you saw okay how, how much risk how can we repair how can we limit our exposure so if something goes wrong even so we operate with a high likelihood that we are not getting uh, drawdowns yeah and with that the business plan that was the action plan and also the financial plan we write that with you and we have continuation uh, assignments after the mentorships but such a mentorship with 20 hours we work with you for uh, three months we give you all the alerts we answer all your questions and we give you opportunities then to sign on and stay in contact with us we have different traders some they get independent and they write us a very nice Christmas card because they could move where they want to be or the company wanted to move and they didn't have to do it because they're independent trading now others work with us on a daily basis so it's different the choice is yours, yeah? And we want to put an end on this, yeah? Having moving averages and all of that on the chart because it's all past oriented. It's not a system like seismically measuring of what's going on. The likelihood of those systems are between 51 and 54%. And I can tell you right out of the gate, then your success will be very random. But when you come on board and I have a different chart here and take all these winners and also some losers because, you know, we work with a probability and you can read them off the chart and you can follow them step by step in the right way and manner, then you have a different edge. And that's also offered as an entry level system with our trade colors. There you uh, trade with a color scheme. So one and two of the same and the high taken out of this one gets you in a trade. One, two of the same and the low gets you in a trade. But again, if you are an IRA, you can short that stock, but you can work with a put or you can work with a call spread. Both are allowed because they're risk limited trade. And that's what we show here in those mentorships and that's for example how something can look like so you see here the color combinations take you i'll take a pen here and so here is a trade yeah so it takes you to the downside there's a specified price approximator yeah so that i put here on the chart and the special offer with that is the box the box belongs to top line but i also give that here in the trade color because it shows you accumulation area see how long it took to then take that box out here on that trade and have another trade to the downside. Yeah, so things replicate themselves and that's what we are betting on. Yeah, and let the system generate those opportunities for you, easy to be seen on the chart and followed through. Always with a clear cut entry exit and a relation between risk and reward that is favorable or acceptable for you. If you want to read more about our way of uh, 
trading and uh, get yourself a little more in it. We have a hardcover book here or soft cover, yeah, so, but it's a real book, but if you want it as a Kindle, it's available too. Yeah, so there you see where we go with our algorithmic trading and how we work ourselves within following clear cut rules. Therefore, today's topic, rule-based long and short-term trading, you saw with Boeing Aircraft, Abercrombie and Finch, uh, long-term trades, then we had the MES, we had uh, another trade on the USO, the oil trade. So all of that is possible depending on your affinity, but also the time of the market dictates what's going on, but we'll do one to two trades every day and there should be one for you in that too. If you like what I showed you here, then call us at 866-455-4520 and set up a personal consulting hour. I'm not assuming or expecting you to buy right from here. Uh, get yourself a live view. Yeah, You see, I dedicate a lot of time, but only do it if you're really interested because you know we don't want to waste time on both sides. Time is precious. Yeah, Or you can also write uh, an email, contact at neverlosttrading.com. And then we'll go through these trade situations and some of the rules. Uh, people often ask, can I test the system? Yeah, no, without training, you can't test it. You need at least 10 hours of training uh, with the top line. And uh, then you still have to learn. This is like when you're a good car driver and you want to fly a, a, a space shuttle, there will be training needed. Yeah, even so, there are steering elements. There will be training needed. That's 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 very essential. And we are in business since more than ten years, working close one on one with the people to guide them. Because you know, you'll need help at certain points, also on the order execution, on the trade finding, on the uh, evaluation of a system. It'll not go within watching a half hour video and you be a super duper Twitter or YouTube a trader. That'll not work, yeah? So what did we talk about today? Call us on the special offer on top line, including the HF indicator, trade colors, including the box indicator. That's what I showed you. We have the new book, yeah? It's about a $50 investment for the um, soft cover book. Yeah, we got the stock alerts, you get those for free, and also the futures concept, write us an email, subject stocks, or subject to futures and you get for the futures concept sent to you or we sent you for one week the stock alert so that you get a feel including a video of what you can do with that yeah and uh if you want to join our community and get a little more out of uh, what we have sign up at neverlosttrading.com there's a little pop-up screen where you say okay i want more information from you you are highly welcome uh, to take that on so that's my offer for today. I'll try to pop out the chat and see if I missed questions. I'd be happy to find them, but I need to make that a little bigger. All right, if now is your time, so type them in and I'll be happy to answer them. I stay good in time. Very good. And I'll pull up the question box here. Oh, of course, it uh, goes right over the screen, but pulled it off there. So let's see. I'll be able to see any questions here. Welcome, everybody. I'm excited to be here. I'm Barry Burns with Top Dog Trading. And today I'm going to share with you the three volume patterns that I'm using in today's markets. So we'll start out. We're going to actually go through the gamut of volume. So we'll start out with some basic stuff, and then we'll go to some intermediate level, and then we'll finish up with some advanced level techniques for volume. So we got a little something for everybody here. So if at the beginning it seems a little too basic for you, just hang in there. We'll get to the advanced stuff. All right. So, and we're going to highlight three volume patterns here, as I mentioned. By the way, also I want to mention that uh, Top Dog Trading, we have a podcast. So this is a free service we offer to the trading community. Feel free to check it out. Obviously, it's totally free. iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, wherever podcasts are, we are there. And um, I cover a lot of good things here that I don't cover elsewhere. And I've also got a great YouTube channel with over 200 videos. So feel free to check out our um, free tutorials on YouTube as well. Just uh, type in top dog trading and YouTube and you'll find us there. 
uh, in podcasts. Well, this is iTunes. We've actually gotten up to number 10 the last time I looked, even ahead of such notorious people as, golly, some little guy named Jim Cramer. Not sure who he is, some unknown dude. Uh, another unknown, Tony Robbins, Wall Street Journal, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I don't know how we got above them, to tell you the truth, because those are pretty amazing people. But, well, I guess I owe it to uh, people who have left comments and rated us and all of that. So if you've done that, thank you very much. Really appreciate it, and I just love doing those podcasts. Um, a quick little disclaimer. I know we've got several speakers here, and you probably heard it with every one of them, but people come and go with these uh, multi-speaker events. So just wanted to uh, also have my little disclaimer there and understand we're not going to read this word for word, but what I will do is just share with you that um, the legal disclaimer is not just legalese. It's really here for your education. Regulators are trying to protect us and they do a pretty good job. So read this, and if you need a little more time, feel free to go to topdogtraining.com, click on our legal disclaimer there, and uh, treat it as education, as, um, as protection about what not to do. I think we all know most people lose money trading. Regulators have um, gone and found out why most people lose money trading, and that's what's disclosed here. So this is how to be one of the minority and not one of the majority who loses money. Okay, so trading, bottom line of trading is this, supply and demand. When there's a supply-demand imbalance, that's what causes prices to go up or down. It all comes down to that. I don't care whether you're trading Forex or stocks or futures, commodities, options, day trading, swing trading, whatever it is, the universal thing that makes prices move is an imbalance of supply demand. And nothing measures supply demand imbalances as well as volume does. So in general, here's the 101 beginner stuff. When we get an increase, in, we get an increasing volume as the market moves up, and that indicates rising demand in low supply. And we get increasing volume as the market moves down but that indicates a rising supply and low demand. And the way it looks on a chart is kind of like this. So we get price going up and volume going up with it. Again, a little pause in the market, price goes up, volume goes up with it. Volume confirms the price in uh, the direction of the price. Now the opposite works when the market goes down. So a little less uh, intuitive, but still pretty much the same deal. It's just that they're moving in opposite directions. But as price moves down, we get a sustained follow through to the downtrend. Then prices go up. So again, volume moves up as price moves down, thus confirming the move down. Now, here is volume pattern number one. So I was going to share with you three volume patterns. And here is numero uno. So having seen those two little meta patterns there, here what we have is something very interesting. Price moving up. So we've got the uh, little uptrend here, but volume moving down. So that breaks the pattern that we just looked at. That breaks the pattern we just looked at. We expect if there's going to be a sustained trend to the upside, there should be volume moving up, and it's not. It's moving down. So this is a volume pattern that keeps you on the right side of the market, even against the trend. So when we see volume going down in an uptrend, that's an indication that this trend will probably not follow through. So if we're uh, doing trend retracement trades, trend continuation trades, wait for it to come back to a moving average and then buy, something like that, that type of trading structure. This would be one that would say, hmm, not a good idea. And what's cool about this is you're getting a um, you're getting a leading indication that, hmm, okay, even before the retrace, this is showing weakness up, and therefore I probably don't want to take a retrace trade here. Now, when the volume moves down, now volume moves up. So as it goes against that trend, volume comes in, and that is an indication that, oh, probably now the market's going to go down because that's where the strength, where the volume 
or supply demand has shifted. And so now on this down move, now looking for a retrace as we come down is the better trade. So while price is moving up, volume's declining, then on the retrace, volume increases. Therefore, this red line is the 50 period simple moving average, by the way. And even though it's moving up, and this is a first retrace in the trend, it's probably a low probability trade. And the better trade would be to go short on the retrace down, as indicated by strength, strength being volume. Which direction has strength? The one that has the volume. Okay, volume pattern number two that I promised is a counterintuitive low volume pattern. So mostly when people are looking for volume patterns, they're looking for increase in volume like we just did or volume spikes, et cetera. So I learned this um, kind of, well, I learned it not really from anybody, <laughs> but I learned it while I was studying with a guy who was trading uh, reversals on the volume of spikes. So there's several keys to this and you might wanna write these down. So what he was doing was he was looking for extended trends. That's step one. You got to have an extended trend, long-term trend. Remember that the trend is your friend until the end. So what that means is, by the way, there's a mathematical basis for that. It's not just a cutesy phrase. The trend is your friend until the end means that it's been statistically shown that the longer a trend continues, the less probable it is to continue and trading is all about probabilities. So the best time to get into a trend trade is early in a new trend. The worst time to take a trend trade is late in an old trend. So right there is a binary probability decision. So when we look for trend reversal trades, the high probability time for a trend to reverse is late in an extended trend. So this is when you wanna look for your patterns like double tops, triple tops, head and shoulders, those sort of things. The high probability time to look for those because those are all trend reversal price patterns is in an extended trend when the trend is no longer your friend. Now, here's another one. So first step, again, extended trend. Been going down for a long time. You get your volume spike. Now, the guy who taught me this, he used to trade these uh, reversals. He'd look for V bottoms, where the market would just come down and then go right back up after, or right at the volume spike. And those were working pretty good for him for a while. And then he went through about a three month dry period where he was just getting loss after loss after loss after loss. And he was bumming out. He was not in a very good mood for those three months. And um, so I was watching these because I was being trained by him and I started noticing a pattern. And that pattern was this, he was taking losses on these. So I'd look at all the trades that he would share with us. And I noticed a very interesting thing. Quite often after that volume spike, there would be another low. And on that next low, it would go up. And so he'd get stopped out on this one and the next low would stop him out, but the next low would be on low volume, which was the exact opposite of what he was looking for. He was looking for these volume spikes to take the reversal. So it'd go down here, take him out, just barely get below that low, kind of like a stop running type of scenario, low volume, and that's when it would then go to the moon, Alice. And I thought, huh, well, that's pretty interesting. Now, do the do trend reversals do this every single time? No, but we don't care. We're just here to make some money when the market does our setup. That's called making the market come to you. You wait for the market to do, well, whatever your high probability trade setup is. And when it does it, that's when you take the trade. So I started looking for these and I found that um, these had a higher uh, win-loss ratio than than these. Now, sometimes would the market come down, make a V bottom and go straight up? Yep, sometimes it would. And what would I do? Nothing, I just didn't take those trades. I didn't like them. So when they, that happened, I just, that wasn't my game. That's just not the trade that I would take. And I'd let you know other people make that money who play that game, that's fine. 
I can't make all the money. Let someone else make some money sometimes on some trades. That's perfectly fine. So I would just wait for these setups. So whenever these setups would occur, then that was my setup. That was my game. Okay, so that one works very, very, very well. But the key is three keys. Step one, extended trend. Step two, volume spike. Step three, wait for the market to retest this low. Now, it could come down and be a double bottom. It could be a little higher low or it could be a little lower low. That's step three. My favorite, frankly, is when it makes a little bit of a lower low. Those are my favorites. Just not a lot. You know, again, if you look across here, if I could draw a line here, you would see that all three of these bars that make the low basically would be touching this line if I drew a horizontal line across there. And that's the ideal. That's the ideal. I want it just to be enough where, well, again, basically it's taking out those people's stops. Now it can again turn a, a result in some other patterns. So here we get a double bottom, comes back down and retest this low, but this time it's a little bit of a higher low. This one's on an intraday chart, by the way. I think the last one was on a daily chart. Yeah, daily chart. So again, this can be done for swing trading and daily charts. This can be done on intraday charts like this, this little two minute chart of Amazon. Come a little higher low, but again, big volume here. Um, and by the way, look, we got our big volume spike way over here, but still big volume all the way on both of these bottoms. Comes back up, a little bit of a higher low, and away she goes. So the cool thing is that if you get in at this low here, you're buying at wholesale. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll wait for the breakout of this high and they'll trade the breakout. And sure enough, we get some volume coming in and that's one of the characteristics of breakout traders is they look for breakouts of this high on increased volume. So they get it, but look what you got to suffer through. So the market goes up a bit, comes back down, comes back below the entry. If you took the breakout say here, well, it comes back down below the entry. Where do you place your stop? That's one of the challenges with the breakout trades. If you say, well, I'm gonna place it below where I got in, well, then you're gonna get stopped out. If you put it all the way down here, well, then you got a potential big loss if you get a loss. So I'm not a big um, you know, breakout trader guy. So I like to get in before the breakout way down here. Am I anticipating the breakout? Yes, I'm expecting that will happen. If it doesn't, I'm still going to be okay. But if it does, then I'm okayer. <laughs> All right, so Dominique asks, does this volume pattern work in any time frame? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right, so, and here is volume pattern number three. Going through these pretty fast, but I got some advanced ones for you as well. So don't think when I'm done with pattern three here that we're done. Nope, I promised you some advanced stuff and I will deliver. This one is really, really cool. This one I did not make up. So this I, I did learn from someone else. It's called a squat bar, a squat bar. It's a mismatch between price and volume that leads to explosive moves. So here's what we got. We got price, but again, the red line's the 50 MA. And by the way, my black line here is the 15 EMA. So we're above the 50 MA, and then we kind of go flat here between the moving averages, drop below the 50 MA. The 50 MA I consider to be my line in the sand between a bull and bear market. So now we're in bearish territory, and we come down, and then we just kind of go sideways, stay flat for a while. And then all of a sudden, we get a, a nice big volume spike bar. But look, the price bar is very narrow range. Now that seems counterintuitive. That seems counterintuitive. You would think when you get a lot of volume coming in on one day, this is a daily chart again, on one day, that the price would move a lot because there's a lot of orders coming in, a lot of buying, a lot of selling, and you would expect it to be a wide range day in price. And it's not. It's a very, very narrow range bar. That's the very definition of a squat bar. Big volume, 
small price range. And what's happening is that there is a lot of orders coming in and building pressure. That's a good way to think of it as like a pressure cooker. And eventually this thing is going to pop one way or the other, either up or down, obviously. So how do we determine which way it's going to break? Well, there's two things I look for. Number one, just which way it breaks. Just watch the price action and go with the flow. Trade the way it goes. Don't fight it. And the other thing is I do use multiple time frames. So in this case, I'd look at a weekly chart and I look at which way is the weekly chart moving. So, and for that, by the way, I primarily uh, look at the energy of momentum, not so much trend on the longer term time frame, but momentum on the longer term time frame. So again, pressure cooker, building, 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 and then it's going to pop. And the beautiful thing about these is, again, we've had consolidation all through here. And then we're looking for a pretty big move out of this. It's the old contraction expansion cycle in the market that allows us to uh, get big rewards. So again, these are really, really small risk, big reward trades. Okay, here's um, a little extra bonus for you. So volume is used by professional traders as support resistance levels and you should use them that way too. This is where we look at, okay, where did a lot of traders change their mind about where supply and demand levels are? So in other words, as price came down, 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 big volume came in, and so the market participants, if you will, said, oh, this is a bargain now. Price is consider it low by the participants and so they're thinking oh i can get a deal this used to be you know ten dollars more and now i can get it for ten dollars less and for whatever reason at that time the market participants said hey that's a good deal i'll buy that now it's cheap i'm getting it for the cheap well comes up a little bit but then there weren't enough people that thought it was real cheap so it kind of just consolidated but this is a great place to buy or to place a support level because this level here was considered, this price was considered by a lot of people, as indicated by volume, is a low price. And so draw a support level there. Support resistance levels should be drawn where big volume comes in and the market shifts direction. This is one of the way professionals draw support resistance levels. And it is based on the idea, again, that people felt it was overpriced or underpriced and came in and bought and sold off of those levels. And therefore, into the future, they look for that same thing. Will people come back in and again consider that cheap or expensive? Expensive would be resistance. So we draw these levels in at those um, at those volume spikes. And now here again, look, this is awesome. We get price just barely breaking below that level. So again, indecisiveness came in. There weren't quite enough people that were convinced that this was a deal. And so we just barely break below those lows. Now this is a really powerful technique for support resistance. The best time to buy support is when price breaks or pierces, I prefer to use the word pierce, pierces support. We don't want it to completely break below it. Then, then it's been violated, that's not so bueno. But if it just pierces below, again, what's happening is people's stops are getting taken out. And then as long as you get some other confirming signal, in this case, we get another volume spike, and that is where, well, frankly, unfortunately, a lot of people are gonna get hurt. Breakout traders are going short. Uh, people who bought here and placed their stops below there, they're getting hurt, they're getting stopped out. And that's where your supply demand shifts and up the market goes. So watch these patterns, my friends, where support resistance is just barely broken. If you get some sort of reversal signal, volume is one of the best. Boy, these are golden. These are golden. Okay. 
All right, so that's that. Oh, we got a question here. Chris is saying, can you show me pattern one one more time? Uh, sure, I can do that for you. To go back here in time, there you go. So yeah, pattern one was simply, um, and pattern one is great because it gives you a heads up beforehand where price is going up and volume is going down. So you could also kind of consider that a leading indication. They don't like to say leading indicator because volume is not an indicator. Volume is a statistic. So there's nothing, there's not a mathematical formula. It's just keeping track of the volume. So as price goes up and volume goes down, that means there's not a lot of demand, going back to our supply demand example. And therefore that gives us a head up, heads up that this will probably not continue to go up. Where does volume increase? when price goes down. Oh, so now we say, oh, so the, the real power, or you can think of this as the strength behind the price move is when it comes down and therefore our bias for direction is down because volume strength gives us our bias for the direction of the market, regardless of whether the market's actually moving up or down. Just because the market's moving up doesn't mean that it's going to continue to move up. Right, I, I mean, just reading pure price action, um, that's nice and good, but that's no leading indication. That's just what the price is doing right now. Well, that doesn't help me. Price is just what's happening at this moment. Well, my broker, at least, my broker requires that I trade what's going to happen into the unknown future where there's no price bars yet. <laughs> you know, so. I got to know what the price bars are going to be that aren't printed yet. My broker is kind of rude that way. I don't know. If any of you have a broker who actually lets you trade and make money with historic charts, let me know. I'll, I'm signing up. I'm going to join them. But my broker doesn't let me do that. So I need something beyond just the price action that tells me what's going to happen next. And volume is one of the best things for that, by the way. Okay, here's another one. So. This is a little extra bonus. Again, this is not really a price pattern. This is just a, um, a little tool that I put together, simple. And certainly not, again, the only one who uses this. But when you look at these price or these volume bars, you notice that you know there could be little differences between them. And so the question becomes, well, how do I know it's big volume or little volume? Because they, they can vary a little bit and you know how much is big and how much is little. So what I do is I just go ahead and I add a 20 period simple moving average to the volume histogram. Make sure you put it on the subgraph where your volume is plotted. And this creates just a line in the sand, if you will. So the line in the sand, the way, the way I look at it is, and by the way, you don't want to use a real fast moving average. I intentionally use a simple moving average. There's certain times when you don't want something fast. Like most people think, oh, why don't you use exponential? It's faster. I don't want it faster. I want it slower because I want it smooth. I don't want it jagged. Volume bars are already jagged. The whole point of using the moving average is to create something smooth to create this line of demarcation. So the basic rule is this. Anything well above this, the 20 simple moving average is what I consider high volume. Anything below where it doesn't even touch the simple moving average, I consider that low volume. If it's basically touching the 20 period simple moving average, I consider that average volume. And again, well above it, high volume. So just a little extra tool there to give you the a little, you know, line in the sand, as I said, between what's low volume, medium volume, and high volume. It just kind of helps you read it. Now, Let's get to some of the more advanced stuff. Ready for advanced stuff? All my advanced traders out there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, not so much use the volume histogram, <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna use the good old time and sales window. And if you're not familiar with this, just look into your, um, whatever trading platform you have, lots of them have this. I think most of them have it can't tell you which ones do and don't, not familiar with all of them out there, but most of them do based on my experience. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, again, just 
go into their you know support documents or whatever their educational platform and um, their help uh, website and it'll probably show you how to set this up and if you can't find it just contact your support system for your charging platform but here's what we do here's what I do at least Let's see if this sounds of interest to you so it's a separate window that you bring up called time and sales now when it comes up there'll be a default format to it I change that usually it will show under type the type column it'll show bids asks and trades I don't want to see the bids and the asks for my purposes if you're a real if you're a pure tape reader you might use level two if you're a real tape reader you'd use level three um level two to me doesn't really help that much level three does level three you got to pay for level three um but for time and sales normally you don't have to pay for this it's just something that um pretty much everybody can use now i don't read the bids and the asks and the reason i don't read the bids and the ask is because they're not real orders someone is putting in a bid saying well here's the price i will buy it at Someone's putting in an ask price saying, here's the price that I'll sell it at. They have not committed to those positions. They are publicly posting those prices, but guess what? Some traders are kind of tricky. And I've sat next to a trader. I learned this a long time ago. Literally, I was sitting next to a trader who was doing what we call gaming the market. And what he was doing is he was putting in bids and asks and to intentionally try to move the market he put in big big size showing at this price oh there's a big order there and so what would happen quite often is sometimes the market would start to move toward that big order thinking there was liquidity there and right before it reached it he would pull the order meaning he would cancel it he never intended to be filled never intended to be filled didn't want it he was gaming the market he was it was um it was he was faking everybody out and he did this all day long i sat there and watched him so i've seen it with my own eyes so that was the day that i decided huh i don't and then i asked other people about it he didn't use the term gaming the market and then i asked other people about it and they were like oh yeah yeah he's gaming the market I'm like oh never heard that term before so then i said okay well i'm going to change my strategy here a little bit then i don't want to be gamed <laughs> so i changed this you can go in and you can edit this and type, I removed, I unchecked the bid and the ask um, options because I didn't want to see the bid and the ask. All I want to see are trades. Now, this is where people are committed. This is where they're actually spending their money. Right now, they've spent their money. Now, they've executed a trade. The money has left their account. And let me tell you, when traders commit their money, when their money leaves their account, now they're serious. That's not a game. So that's what I want to see. Where are the traders committed? All right, so that's step one. Step two, oops, I forgot. Go to webinar. They changed their um, little format here. Um, oh, you know what else? I, I want to tell you this too before I move on. There's another thing I, I changed, size. And this is really the whole point. I don't want to see all the trades. I don't want to see all the trades. I want to only want to see the trades of people who have pretty big accounts. So this is my X-ray into the smart money. I mean, who would you rather follow? The smart money or the, well, we'll be nice, unsmart money, okay? <laughs> you want to follow the smart money or the unsmart money? The answer is obvious, right? So. We take this and what I do is in this case, and you can you know adjust these numbers. So this is the NQ, NASDAQ 100 futures. And I said, okay, I'm going to change this um, parameter where I don't see any trades that are less than 20 contracts. So remember each one of these is a trade. Look at these are called prints. So look, they're all 1259, 1259, 1259, 1259, 1259, 1259, 1259. Each one of these is an individual trade. They're not grouping trades together. Single trade, single trade, single trade, all in the same minute, okay? And so there's one person uh, who is trading 20 contracts. 
in one trade. Another person trading one trade, 43 contracts. Another one, 22 contracts. So I set that up so I don't see anything less than 20 contracts. For 20 contracts, they gotta have a decent size account. If they have a decent size account, doesn't doesn't guarantee they're a great trader, but definitely increases the odds that they're making some money. Because most amateur traders are trading one or two contracts. Um, most of them are not, they don't have a big enough account to trade 20. All right, so that's the point, is I wanna see the smart money. Now, right here in this example, this is not giving me any real clear signal. Okay, this is like a Christmas tree, green and red, about half green, about half red. So I look at this, and it's like, okay, well, not really nothing to trade here. No, uh, no great uh, signals on this one. But we wait for, as usual, as always, we wait for good signals. Now, I'm adding this, not every trading platform has this, but for those of you who do have this, um, some trading platforms allow you to actually plot this on your charts where and these are called block trades it's called a block trade again it's not really an indicator but it will be usually in your indicator or your studies um portion of your trading platform and where you can actually add these to your charts now you notice it looks like just like a regular volume histogram except there's not a volume bar under every price bar and that's because you can set it up so that it'll only plot a volume bar if so many trades go through. So again, we've got to set to 20. And so in this case, it's only, um, if I did it, so that it'll only give me a volume bar if 20 contracts or more have gone through. So you see a lot of bars here don't have any, um, a lot of price bars don't have any volume bars because all these trades had less than 20 contracts per trade. Not per bar, but per trade. Okay, and then at the end, we get some big, we get a lot of them, a lot of 20 contracts. Okay, so just a little extra side note there. If you got it, great. Um, most trading platforms don't, but for those who do. Now, here is the secret sauce. Ready for the secret sauce? This is how I actually use this in real life, and this is a great example. So I actually create two, I bring up two time and sales windows. Now, in one of them, I filter it so the size will only show one and two contract trades. In the other one, this one I have it set to 10 or more. So you notice there's no prints here where there is a trade for less than 10. And you notice over here, there's no prints where there's a trade more than two contracts per trade. So what is this essentially showing me? It's filtering that, okay, this window is going to show me amateur trades. This trade is going to show me more professional trades. So, and by the way, look, prices are the same. 1205.75 down the list. 1205.75 down the list. A couple of um, 1205.50s. Uh, but again, remember, by the way, just because the smart money is trading doesn't mean they're always right. Smart money has losses too sometimes. That's why you can't just follow this blindly. But if you're talking about odds or probability, odds are going to be with the smart money. So don't expect it to be 100%. Look at other things too. But boy, this is really a good x-ray into how to distinguish what the smart money is doing from the, well, again, unsmart money. And when I see something that is this clear, exact same price, but, you know, all the amateurs are, you know, are selling and almost all the professionals are buying, well, I mean, really, do I need to take it any further than that? Which side of the trade would you want to be on, buying or selling? I think, you know, the answer is pretty well self-evident. So pretty gall darn good indication. Again, an x-ray, something that most people don't see. You know, you say you want an edge in trading, and wisely so, because you need an edge in trading. Sisters, brothers, that's an edge. That's an edge that most people are not going to see. So I uh, encourage you, like anything else, don't start trading it with real money right away, but, you know, play around with it, test it, um, demo test it, simulate test it, 
and see if you like it. I think you will. It's served me very, very well. You can do this on stocks. Or I've shown you examples on uh, futures here, but um, you can do this on stocks as well. Eh, really, you know, most most markets. So what I've showed you here is robust. It works for stocks, for futures, commodities, options. Why? Because, well, volume is volume. Volume, uh, again, supply demand is what it all comes down to. And supply demand is what moves every market up or down. All these markets are auction places. And so the imbalance of supply demand is what makes prices move. Daytime or day trading, swing trading, investing, same thing. Just looking at a different scale of time, but works for any time frame. Now, the only thing I would say there is if you're trading a market that's not very liquid, if you're trading penny stocks or pink sheets, maybe not so good. Because you don't generally get a lot of professional traders in into those. What we're looking for here, again, bottom line it, is what are the pros doing? Where is the big money coming in? And we want to you know, follow them because the odds are that they're going to be right more than they're wrong. So the only kind of market I would avoid with this is where you just have all amateurs in there. And uh, the, by the way, the pattern of the, the charts tend to represent the pattern of the thinking of the amateurs. Very chaotic, very sporadic, up, down, getting stopped out, uh, getting out too soon, all that kind of stuff creates choppy chart patterns. So professionals trade very differently. We trade very systematically, rule-based, and orderly. And guess what kind of chart pattern that creates? A chart pattern that is very orderly. And so for that reason, I would say that yes, it works with any type of market, but I would avoid illiquid markets, markets that don't have a lot of liquidity. Now, uh, to finish up, well, I kind of dropped the ball that I don't have anything to sell you today. So I know you guys are going to be really mad at me that I don't have anything to sell. But sorry, got nothing to sell. All I got is a freebie. So if you want a freebie, come and get it. Um, just go to uh, topdogtrading.com slash free. That's a pretty good um, URL. There we go. Oh, they, thank you. Anna, just type that into the chat box for me. So it's, uh, yeah, topdogtrading.com forward slash free. And here's what you're going to get. What you're going to get today is actually several things. I put together a nice little uh, free package for you. So let me get my little red dot here again. So I'm giving you one of my courses for free, first of all. And um, it's really on topic with what I talked about today. This is actually very intentional. Believe it or not, I actually came um, very organized. So I talked a lot, if you notice, mostly what I was talking about is how to follow the smart money. So that's exactly what this course is about. How pros trade differently than amateurs. So if you want to learn more about that, this is the course for you. It's, again, absolutely free. Try before you buy, or actually try and never buy, because I don't, I don't even charge anything for this course. In this course, though, it's not just theory. I'm also going to give you a free trade setup in this course so that, well, my intention is frankly this. I'll just be very transparent. I do have courses that I sell. I want you to buy my courses in the future from money you make from this free trade setup. How's that? Is that fair enough? If I can give you a trade setup that'll make you enough money to buy one of my courses, would you do it? Well, you can or you don't have to. Again, no obligation, not uh, saying you have to do that, but my feeling is if I can make you some money uh, without having to charge for it, you'll probably be pretty darn happy with me. And you might wanna get some more. So this will give you my rubber band trade, gives you all the rules, all the filters, all the everythings. I still trade the rubber band trade every day it sets up. And it is that consistent. It's a very high win-loss ratio trade. You're going to get five videos. They're each about 20 minutes long. Interactive quiz at the end of each one. And I have a cycle indicator that I'd love to share with you. And the cycle indicator is about how to time your entries. One of the biggest problems that people have is I've done surveys as they they say, I just don't know exactly when to get in. I'm either getting in too early and then I get stopped out 
or I get in too late and then I'm chasing the market. And I just never seem to hit the timing perfect. So I've got a cycle indicator that I created and it works on any charting platform, by the way, it's actually a modification of a very common indicator. And I'm gonna give that to you, get you set up on your charts for you and show you how to trade it. So we can get your entries down with precision. And now that takes about an hour to do all of that, get it set up on your charts and show you how to trade it. So we'll do that on another follow-up webinar, absolutely free. And you get everything in one place. Again, just topdogtrading.com slash free. Sign up there and we'll get everything out to you. So I have a full one minute left. Um, Mike is asking, where do you find my Fibonacci courses? On my website, topdogtrading.com. Click on the products tab and it's on there. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I finished up just with a few seconds left here. So Anna, do we have time for questions or do we need to move on to the next speaker? Uh, this is the last part of the day, Barry. So uh, we have some time to uh, answer a few questions. Do you cover setups in your podcast? Podcast, yeah. Member asking. Oh, um, I don't cover setups because podcasts are just audio. And so it's kind of hard to describe a setup without visuals. So if you're interested in setups, then I'd encourage you to go to my YouTube videos. And there I do talk about um, setups because, well, obviously they're videos and I can visually show you. So, and I see trader member, trader member. Is that the name on your birth certificate? I don't know, I'm kind of suspicious about trader member here. Uh, but trader member here, she, she says, uh, the survey does not move. I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, Tucker says, do you have options training? I sure do. I sure do. Uh, Klausen Paul says, his first name is really gold. Oh, gold. Gold. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh, Klausen Paul, you're funny guy. <laughs> oh, that's great i love i appreciate people have a sense of humor <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> my first good laugh of the day thank you for that gift i love that <laughs> oh gosh all righty well i'm not seeing any other questions frogans or even preguntas so I guess we're done. Anna, I really want to thank you for inviting me to the um, to the event today. Got some great people here, great questions, great answers, and great jokes. So um, yeah, thank you so much.